Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of brilliant idiotness, man. And today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. When you're ready to launch... Use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start this show. The Hezzy is here. Free Trump, yo. Free. Uh, <laughs> He's free. Yo, free Trump. Trump never got arrested. Yo, free Trump. Trump never got arrested, bro. He did get arre- nah. arrested. Nah. What do you mean? Trump never got arrested. Trump ain't getting no mug shot. They ain't put Trump in no handcuffs. Come on, bro. You like, got to have some privileges if you're president. But that's crazy, right? But that's, but that's my point. It's like, stop acting like people aren't above the law. Some people are. Yeah, Even- they should be. <laughs> he's a white man in America. He's a, what has he's happened a, to this? He's a country? rich white man in America is, who used to be what, president. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can you have no privileges in life anymore? <laughs> Can there be no privilege? That's what we want. There to be no privileges. That's nah. the crazy part about it. It's like, yo, if y'all gonna arrest him, do it. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't even do it. People just wanted the mugshot. They just wanted the handcuffs. They didn't even want that motherfucker in jail. They just wanted him to be embarrassed. Because you can't say that somebody is above the law if you're not treating them like every other motherfucker that got arrested. (laughs) Literally every other motherfucker that's ever been arrested in the history of life in America has a mugshot and handcuffs. I think if you're president, you shouldn't be able to get a mugshot or a handcuff. I say this. Boosie brought up a good point. What did Boosie say? And all of this, people are forgetting what Boosie said. You shouldn't have to get a mugshot until you found guilty. That's fact. Straight up. Innocent until proven guilty. You should not have to get a mugshot. Now, even if you want to handcuff people, bring them in, cool. But you shouldn't have to get a mugshot until you found guilty. Amen. But as Boosie had a also, good point. Also, you shouldn't be putting handcuffs if it's not a violent crime. Interesting. Why am I in handcuffs if the crime has nothing to do with violence? Why do you need to restrict me? I never thought about it. If that. I did tax fraud, you need to put me in handcuffs? You're just trying to embarrass me it's publicly. It's fucking resting. If I did something violent or I'm accused of doing something violent, then of course, please, for everyone's safety. If I'm accused of tax fraud, I'll take my wallet. Take my wallet, take my debit cards, take, you know what I'm saying? Facts, take bro. all my put financial that shit, shit in handcuffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handcuff yeah, me financially, yeah. but don't handcuff me physically. You're yeah. just trying to make me look like a fool. Free Trump. Yeah. Yo, free Trump, though. <laughs> Can we free Trump? Like, just be honest. He's not uh, He's not changing. in prison. He's in fucking, he was at the UFC fight this week watching Izzy get busy. Izzy got busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was Yo, out there. He was. He was he was making was. side bets with Kid Rock. You, you know saw what I'm that saying? Shit? Taking pictures with Act. Like, he was, Bro, like he was out the there. Thing. That's how you know it's flipped because everybody wanted a picture with Trump. Everybody, you know, when he stood up, the place went crazy. I think people I mean, that's forgave his audience, Trump, though. bro. I think people forgave Trump. Not, what do you mean? Listen, man. There's 300... Free Trump, bro. No, 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 no. There's 340 million people in America. I knew I was right. That's his audience. <laughs> I knew why, I was right about why Trump do we, but, 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 but listen, why do we <laughs> act why like... Do we, we forget 70... How many people voted for Trump? 73 million, 74 million people? You... I didn't vote for Trump. Come on, bro. I didn't vote for Trump. Stop acting, bro. We agreed that you would do Trump. I would do Biden. It would cancel stuff. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we agreed, bro. Oh, no. That's no, a funny Trump. joke. No, no, no. I... no. That's that's a uh, that's a uh, that's that's a uh, uh, what's it called? Kirby and no, no. Nope. Uh, you owe me. I voted for Trump. In 20, you know, you know, you know, heard that? Twenty sixteen. There's a Kirby enthusiasm episode where he's he's waiting to vote uh, online, and it's a long ass line. And oh, and he, he gets into argument in front of him. Oh, he yeah, goes, yeah. no, he doesn't get an argument. He goes. Uh, who are you voting for, by the way? And he goes, I'm voting for uh, Johnson. And he goes, well, I was planning on voting for uh, Kerrigan. Kind of cancel each other out. Should we just hop off this line? And they leave. And I then they're like, it. yeah, 100%. I think I saw that. But it. you said that you want to vote for Trump, but you didn't want to feel guilty about it. So I said, fine, I'll vote for Biden so you can vote for Trump. I really did it for you. I sacrificed for you. But what, one thing that you don't know. I just want to say, this is not true, but we're having fun. Go ahead. We're having yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. thing, you know, you know who I voted for? Who? Obama? Yep. Of course you did. You're a, man, you were a liberal from New York City. No, I've, in the last election. Man, shut up. I man. mailed it in, bro. You can write it in. I wrote it in. That's a waste of a vote. I voted in Malia Obama <laughs> for president. <laughs> <laughs> I want the youngest Obama. I want her for president. Come on, man. Stupid, man. No, I'm serious, dude. We need to take politics seriously here on A Brilliant oh, Idiot. Oh, man. Free Trump. Free Obama. Obama not free. Why is he not free? Obama, hey, listen, I'll tell you what. Hey, hey, I'll tell you what. Without Obama, you know, vaccines or something. Obama not going to be free if Trump becomes president in well, 2024. Why? 
Hold up. You think Trump not going to lock... What y'all going to tell Trump me lock, now? What y'all going to tell me now? <laughs> Trump locking up all his political enemies. Ooh, you better believe on that. Y'all done, y'all done fake ooh. arrested Donald if, Trump. If you thought Izzy's revenge was Whoa. sweet... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wait till Trump beat those back at What? what? Yeah, Trump, yo, listen, yo, you're not going to sit here and tell me that Trump didn't go to that UFC fight and he is oh. inspired oh. by Izzy. Oh! <laughs> He's oh. like, how many times did Izzy lose to this guy? It's comeback season. <laughs> it's comeback season, baby. Horse Trump face gonna is getting Trump going to be putting arrows out his toupee. Go, go. No, you're going out his toupee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trump going to be pulling arrows out his toupee. I'm Biden. telling you. Obama. Yes, it's Hillary. Over, bro. Oh, Hillary? Listen, I'm not joking. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. I thought we just had No, we're having fun. Okay, okay. But okay, there's okay. always a little bit of reality in the fun. No. Nah. Yeah. Trump becomes president in 2024. Free Trump? Locking up. All his political Lock him up, bro. Guaranteed. Chris, I'm locking him, like, him up. Chris and Christie, we locking up Chris, Chris Christie. Said, Chris said, unfortunately, no, he believes. It's a fact. It's happening, bro. That, what, who, Trump is winning? No. Trump got the energy if Trump again, Trump bro. Wins, Trump don't... <laughs> <laughs> I told you this too much. I told you he never lost it. I told you he, he never lost it, though. I told bro. you he never... He lost it for not, me. He lost it for me. I don't know how. He lost it for me. He was cooking then. No, but now it's different, bro. And then the rest will do that. Say again. And the rest, and the rest Exa- do that. We like that. We like people get arrested. We're Americans. We're rebels. <laughs> we were getting arrested by the English and we said, fuck you. We coming for y'all next. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I think man. we got to change July 4th until the day that Trump got arrested. Man, we not going to get to July 4th because the whoa, next big whoa, firework whoa. you're going to see is a nuclear weapon. Stop it, bro. Stop no, it, no, bro. no. No, you can't have both. You really think the you Chinese can't. could drive a nuke here without crashing it somewhere else? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 stop it. Oh, stop it. You sincerely believe you just bro, what else we gonna do when a nuclear war kicks off except for laugh, bro? Come on, we <laughs> Come gotta on, laugh. Man. Schultz Crypto's is getting up. up. Schultz Crypto's is getting an early jump K, on man. it. We cook it, baby. Thirty k again? That's still yeah, down. Yeah, back that up to thirty. Up. It was at to like nineteen. Now we have to oh, thirty. Okay. I mean, that half my money. Crazy. <laughs> Come on. That shit was up crazy, man. All I know is Trump got on True Social and tweeted out World War Three for no reason, no context, no nothing. What do you mean no reason? Give me a, what's, what's we come here every single week and say crazy shit for no reason. Yeah, you're but right. you know what it does? It gets the people going. <laughs> <laughs> he don't have a podcast, but the world is his podcast. The world, you know? is his podcast. <laughs> it is. And his a reality show is every single day. He's just in the room eating McDonald's. Oh man! And he's like, I need to stir some shit up. World War Three. Damn, Trump. Come on, bro. It is entertaining. We already got all that crazy <laughs> shit out the way. We've forgiven him for his wild shit. Now we're ready to go. It's the rebirth. No, he's I'll even... be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I oh, did not no. vote for Trump the first time. I know that y'all put that on me. I did not vote for him the first time. Yeah. I voted for, who was it? Biden or whatever. Or I didn't Hillary, vote. Hillary. No, I didn't vote. I didn't vote. But so I did not did... vote for him. Okay. But uh, this time, bro. You ain't voting for Trump. All right, you're right. You're but still, but still, but still, <laughs> can we just put it out there like it's fun? <laughs> Can we put it out there like it's put out what? Game? They already think you voted for. <laughs> what are you do? You're just reinforcing what they already think. Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah. I'm in my own mind knowing I didn't, but they think I did, so I don't yes. gotta convince them. Yes, you don't have to convince them. Oh fuck. All right. Well, okay, let me I'll keep believing what y'all believe or whatever. What you gonna right. do? Now? What y'all gonna keep do believing now? what y'all believe. Yo, stop acting like you're not excited by Trumpito, bro. I'm not. Come I knew on, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew that he was gonna suck all the air out of the headlines. I knew that we was going to have to deal with two years of what we're dealing with now. Uh, I'm not even going to say that they made it worse because, you know, nobody is above the law. So they should have arrested him if he committed a crime. Right. It was a goofy. It was a it was a goofy crime and a goofy arrest. Like if you're not going to treat him like you treat every American citizen. Mm -hmm. What what is the fucking point? And even what he do like this. This is what I don't understand. They try to get him for paying the horse girl for horse face. Horse face yeah. mm-hmm. for having sex with her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, man. I'm I, trying to understand. Nah, so nah, he used I, campaign funds to pay the horse girl for allegedly. having sex with her. Yeah, allegedly, allegedly right? Yeah. But here's what I need to understand, right? Doesn't that help his campaign if the horse girl doesn't buck about it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Doesn't that? And therefore, it's campaign finance. But why is that? But that's good. You should be able to pay. For shit that benefits your campaign. No. Show, the, and if you had sex with a horse girl, then you can't, and she's out here talking about it, it's going to distract from the campaign. But to Schultz's point, huh? he, he, didn't, he didn't claim, 
I'm using campaign funds allegedly, for allegedly allegedly to okay. pay off horses. So now here's my other defense of him, yeah. right? The king. <laughs> this guy. Didn't he uh, self fund his campaign? No, that was the yeah he no, did he right. He, no, he did. He did. He did. He, did. he didn't fully self. No, okay. Are you sure? He, I think on record, on paper, he self funded. Right. He Chris? put more money than all these other motherfuckers. He put, put out in. more money. Yeah, but. He raised tons of money, but he yeah. also put more money from himself than anybody else did. So what I'm saying is, take the well, hundred- raising money from the people isn't considered self-funding. I thought when you take money from like corporations and lobbyists, then it's considered it's, it's you're big, being. But funded. yeah, sure. He's not taking money from these big motherfuckers like the you get like, it from the people, like everybody else. Yeah. Is, sure, right. So here's my point: is let's say you put your own money in, which we know he put millions of his own money in, right? Mm-hmm. Flip that 150k for some of his own money. Just flip that out. It's no issue. Sixty-six million figures show Trump spent sixty-six million of his so own. So take the hundred fifty k of his own that one of these other candidates is not spending sixty-six million of their own. Man. Take that, they, take that hundred fifty k of his own, flip it out for some of the money that he put up for his own for campaign, and now you even. It's yeah. a bogus ass thing that they're going after him. For. I mean, listen, I, I thought the charge was weak, bogus. and and I think the, the go after him for that Atlanta shit where he's like five yeah, votes. That's that's, that's it. It's coming. You think so? Yeah, that's coming. That's, that's the big reason. And, uh, that's think, when we're going to see if he really old, though. I think the Yo, Pennsylvania but, you know what I'm saying? But can I be honest with you? Uh-huh. If you were losing, wouldn't you tell them to go find some votes? <laughs> no. Wouldn't you call them? No. He's a liar. I'd meet with somebody. Yeah, yeah there you, you go. Yeah. And I'd tell phone. that person to go fly down to fucking <laughs> Atlanta <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. meet with the people and tell them face to face. That's why we were... Yeah, you got to be a real big, narcissistic, arrogant asshole to pick up the phone and you're the fucking president God. knowing every phone call is tapped by easily. That's why we like Trump. And tell them go find some votes. Yeah. That's why by the like way, Trump. that's why I also think Merrick Garland, you know, uh, Merrick, Gar- like Merrick Garland's dropping the ball too because that's a federal offense. Who's Merrick Garland? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the head of the DOJ. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what happened in Atlanta shouldn't just be considered a state situation. That's a federal this, offense. District of Justice? Department of Justice. Department of Justice. Yeah, that's a, fe- that's, that's a, that's, that's a federal offense. The Fed should have been intervened uh, in that Atlanta situation. You can't tell someone to find some votes, bro. No, not when you're the president of the United States of America. He didn't say fake some votes. He said find them. What does that mean? They got lost. Here's the thing. Come but on. that is they a got be- lost, that is, bro. That is a better headline than the shit going on in New York. get lost in Atlanta. Because in New York, people can say, What's wrong with paying for pussy? What's wrong? Like, that's what people look at that that whole shit and be like, "Why you can't pay for some pussy? Pay for some pussy." Even if they, but be- even if they believe he did it, he that also, is not enough to make people it's not walk away from pussy. Donald Trump. It's not paying for pussy. What is it? He, it's shutting her mouth. He paid out of his own pocket to open her mouth, but then <laughs> he's paying this one hundred fifty k for her to not <laughs> he, talk about. Uh, it. Allegedly, he paid her not to say. To, he paid her to say she didn't suck, or not to tell people she sucked. Yeah, but he did. I don't know if he did or not, but technically, he paid her to say. Uh, does that say nothing about whatever they allegedly Yo, did? That girl sucks, bro. That, did she? What? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> she might have. Mm. You know what? What motivates a horse? A carrot? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Horses like carrots? Yes. yes. Are you kidding me? I didn't know that. You haven't seen a horse go Who the crazy fuck feeds over horses? a carrot? No. Say again. Who feeds horses? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what you, what you say, I ain't bro, never bro? seen a horse eat. What? I thought horses ate hay. Is that a gay joke? <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Are you making a gay joke? No. I thought horses ate hay. I didn't know horses ate carrots. Really? Yeah. What do gay horses eat? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant idiots, everyone. Come on, son. Son, We out here free Trump. Son, we out here free Trump, bro. Trump, Trump is good, man. Trump don't need to be free. Ain't Trump no way Biden could beat this. Ain't no way Biden this stage of his life could beat Trump. I'm going to be honest with you, man. The reason I don't think Biden should be able to beat Trump, the reason I don't even think Biden should run is because whenever you uh, make statements that you're powerless as president, that was his exact words. He what said in regards to, you know, uh, passing some type of gun reform or gun legislation. Yes, we know he needs Congress, but you have the largest bully pulpit in the world. There's always something that can be done when you're the president of the United States of America. Yes, we know that you, you know, push the limit when it comes to executive orders on gun reform. But just to simply say I'm powerless. You know what I mean? I can't do anything but plead the Congress to do something. Mm. I don't like that type of weakness, bro. I don't like that type of weakness. So. That, you know, when you look at somebody who, even in the face of what should be defeat, mm. 34 fucking counts 
of whatever the charge is in New York, facing charges in Atlanta and federal charges, and you still at the UFC fight posing with that? Like, what's up? Telling you, this, this country uh, is going to live and die by celebrities. And, and pop culture wars, the culture wars will always outweigh anything that actually makes sense, sadly, in this country. So, That's who we are, people. But what does that mean? Does that mean we're pro-Trump? No, I'm not pro-Trump. You know, uh, I'm not pro any of these motherfuckers, to uh, be honest with you. I don't like Biden and I don't like Trump, but I can see who would you rather the appeal for Trump? Who would you not, not, not the appeal from anything political, just the appeal based on this this world we live in that is literally idiocracy. Right. This world is an idiotic world right now that worships celebrity, I, that worships clout. I totally understand why there is people that still gravitate towards. Can Biden. I throw a scenario at you? Yes. After two years of Biden being maybe alive, maybe not alive. We're not okay. exactly <laughs> sure. Okay. Right. True. So we don't feel as <laughs> if and Biden coming out flatly and saying there's nothing I can do Come about on, major man. issues. Major issues, gun reform. Kids right? out here getting killed in the streets. You're not even showing no passion. Yep. We watch Congressman Jamal Bowman show passion. Yep. Getting fucking other legislators face, yell, right. scream. Kids are getting killed. You ain't got no passion. You're like, I'm powerless. You just, uh, it's above me now? Boom. Come on, man. So Trump would never. We know that a person that is, it's vague whether he's alive or dead, yeah. right? Right? Is the president. And that person has also said that they don't really have any real power. Right? Now that we know as Americans, and we don't know this to be true, but we might believe that this position doesn't really do anything and you don't really need mm -hmm. to be alive to do it. Mm -hmm. Americans for the last two years feel that way. Wouldn't you rather the fun clown guy no. to be in that position? No, no, we got another oh, option. Yo, yo. We got another option. What is it? I got options. I could pass we that. We got another shit. option, <laughs> Schultz. AI. Artificial intelligence. Who do you think is the president now? Let AI run the country. This is, we got chat. Chat GPT is, is going to be our new president. What if it's chat GPT R-U-M-P? <laughs> what, 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 what if that's... The, That'd what? be funny as shit. <laughs> uh, artificial intelligence Trump uh, might be better than this one. That's all that I'm shit saying. Might be that's <laughs> do it. If we're doing this just for entertainment purposes that's and it. we just want to laugh our way to the apocalypse, that would be hilarious. It, Yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. I don't know if the president does anything. We might as well have the funny clown guy there. He can't really do much. Nah. Trump didn't really he do much. He can get much. us all killed, Chuck. Yeah. Oh! He can get us all killed. Oh. We'll have, listen, we'll have money in our pocket, but we won't be here. You want to die broke? You know what, though? I take that back. I take that back. I'm going to tell you another reason, uh, and I told Chris this a few weeks ago just because I'm just paying attention mm. of, of how, I, how, how I see things and how I know he's mm. going to use certain things to his advantage. Mm. Me and Chris talked about this the other day. Somebody out why there... It, why is it black people's hands are so light on the inside and then dark on the outside? Shut up, man. Somebody out there is... Why? that? Y'all never look at your hands like that and be like, what's going on? No. <laughs> Y'all never think about that at all. That's a you weird... You mean like, why did they make our palms white? Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've thought about that. That's not what, like, maybe that's why y'all like white women so much because you've been oh, beating your dick with a white hand. I don't like white women. You, I love you jerk off with a white hand. But, but listen, <laughs> me, 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 me and Chris talked about this, right? <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> is what you used to. You know? That is funny to think about. It's a white man jerking you off every time you mess Yeah, you got a white man. You got to jerk off like this. You, you know, got to like jerk this. off like this. You know, like this. If you want to jerk off like this. <laughs> Put your dick in between. <laughs> Yo, all black, everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, but me and Chris talked about this the other day, right? Because there's something going on on social media where it's two things that are trending a lot, mm. which is uh, currency, like all these conversations about the currency, Ch -ch -ch and, China, and, and nuclear war, Ch -ch -ch China, right? Yeah. So, if I'm Trump, and you see the Biden administration saying things like tensions are high between us and China. You already know tensions are high with Russia. What does Trump have? He has a relationship with both of them. Ooh, you've seen Trump go talk to the president of China. You've seen Trump be with Putin. His selling point is going to be, I can stop World War III from happening. Bang. I can prevent nuclear war because so I actually have- he got to convince first that it's going to happen so he can come and be the savior. And, all, and he, got a, he got a track record. All awesome. you got to do, do is go back and look at his track record. He's been diplomatic with these people. He's actually gone. What do you mean? You mean, uh, bro? He's a Usain. What are you Bolt, talking bro. about? 
There's pictures of him. He's in. He go. He went to China and kicked it with the Keep president. Keep talking that yeah, shit. But, kicked uh, it with Putin. He's the greatest. Say it. Didn't he do like um? <laughs> say it, bro. Come on. So let's say didn't Trump's he put the like greatest. tariffs on China and then they started raising the prices of all that shit? It, it, yes, it, that did happen. Yeah, but that they, was bad. They, but they still have a we relationship. A meaning that if Biden is out here saying tensions are high yeah. between us and China, but Trump is saying, no, no, I can handle it. I I can have a relationship with He's them. I'm not honest. afraid of them. But this that's going to make thing. tensions higher. No, no it's not. Because it's all need, a game. It's listen, politics. Listen, it's, you need someone to be honest about what's going on, right? Right now, nobody's being honest about what's going on. <laughs> and it's going to take a little bit of struggle in America for us to be like, the fuck we helping Ukraine for? It's sad, but true. Like Americans what, have stopped caring about. What Ukraine. kind of more struggle do we need? Like right. I know, I know it's, diff- it's it's difficult for us to say because we do well. Majority of America's broke. Well, the, majority uh, of America's poor. Uh, yeah, that is mm-hmm. true. But majority of America has been poor. So what they need to do is feel a fluctuation in that. For example, the job market in the tech industry is down, but the job market outside of the tech industry is actually doing really well. Mm-hmm. People are employed and unemployed. But, uh, but, are they, but are they jobs that can actually help you maintain a, a lifestyle, oh, no, no, meaning no, I, that I, I, you, you can afford to have food on the table yeah. and pay your rent? What, what gets people angry and what gets pay people your happy are fluctuations in the money they have. So people are happy when their money goes up from where they are. Now, if you broke and you a little less broke, you're happy. You still might be kind of broke, but you less broke than you were, so you're happy. If you're broke and you become broker, you're pissed. So it's more the fluctuation. Depends what less broke means. But I guess what I'm trying to say is you are comfortable at your current lifestyle. Comfortable is the wrong word, but you're accustomed to your current lifestyle. In order for you, you to can get survive. angry, you're happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. you need to be adjusted. And if the adjustment comes in a negative way, right? let's say somebody's barely making it, and then it finds out that they lost their job or inflation makes it so they can't afford gas and food. And then they find out we still give a billion do- billions of dollars to Ukraine. People are going to go, nah, bro. Majority of people, are, uh, a lot of people are already pissed about that, though. Watch, I don't know. Uh, yeah, people are. Watch Trump come out and just be like, why are we giving money to. to he's already Ukraine? said that. Go. <laughs> he said that. He said, he's Go. already said that. I got, like, it's already lined up so I can see in 2024 where he's got two or three things that he can hang his hat on make big headline topics that's going to make people gravitate to Now, I, I will say what China is definitely doing right now, maybe Russia is doing as well, but like their best efforts to destabilize Americans is to keep on reinforcing all the things that are making us feel concerned. So everything that comes out about like every article, and I'm falling for this shit too, every article comes out like China is making connections with Brazil, which is making connections with the Middle East, and they're all coming together. Like they're definitely pushing that agenda in America. And they're also, all of us are falling for it and we're reacting to it and making videos about it, et cetera. Well, I think people don't really understand what it means. You know what I mean? I don't quite even understand totally what it means. You know, when I hear these conversations about, you know, they're coming together to, 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 to form to remove their, the dollar their own currency, the currency, like that's that's going to be very difficult to do. The, the, the American yeah. dollar is, you know, the, the most powerful debt. dollar in the world. The, it's the most powerful currency in the world. Yeah, the world's debt is settled in American dollars. Like if you're a yes. country, you want to fucking build a bridge, you're getting a loan in American dollars from the IMF or the World Bank. And that's... And people don't think about America. all the other countries that still operate with the American dollar. Also, the... the you Chris know, those, said, five, those five might be establishing their own currency, yeah, but what about the rest of the world? Gonna, also, Chris yeah. said an interesting thing before, which is like... No Chris, country, grab the mic, man. No, no country really wants America to just switch seats with Shub. Can you get that one going or no, Al? That, that Yo, Shug, don't brush, don't brush no, no pelvic on the back of Chris's ass while you move over. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Well, that was cute. Anyway, but it's like the uh, it's like no country in the world really wants China to be in control, right? Because they know at a fucking China's unstable moment's notice. Not only they unstable, they lie but, a lot. Yeah, but also like their decisions are wild. Like they'll just shut something down. Like they yeah. shut the entire entire fucking country down. Through what is it? Two billion people. Yeah, locked yeah, yeah, yeah. people in their fucking houses and starve to death over COVID. Like, you don't want somebody like that in charge. Chris, we can r- ring I the gong agree. right now. I mean, Chris is entered. The, <laughs> thank you. Um, I think it's also there's a lack of transparency with China. I mean, the U.S., for all its flaws, like our banking system, our financial system, there's a ton of transparency. Uh, you can see what's happening. There are regulations. Like Andrew said, in China, um, you know, it's at the whim of the party and nobody knows what the party's whim is. So there's there's really no way to base your currency against theirs. I don't think, I think the stat I saw is even with these changes, 85% of the world still uses the dollar at this point. So I, I think- how, how much percentage, Chris? 85. I'm glad you said that because that's why I said when people see these countries, everybody's like, oh shoot, all of these different countries are coming together, but look at the rest of the world is still operating on the US dollar. 
Like, I could put together a graph right now with America and all the countries that use the dollar. How many countries do you think it would be? It's not even if they use the dollar. They just peg their currency to the right, dollar. Right. They do their Who's big pegging? <laughs> keep talking that shit. <laughs> what? Keep talking that shit. We're going to wow. find some boats in Atlanta. You keep talking that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I got pegs in Atlanta. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got pegs. Pegs, 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 Okay, so Chris. Yeah. Are we making sense over here through all the jokes? Yeah, I mean, look, I think... Yo, pledge your allegiance to Trump right now or you don't care about Taiwan. <laughs> pledge your allegiance to Trump right now or you don't shit. care about Taiwan. Holy yo. shit. Because you know for a fact you Holy know for a fact, Biden not Holy breaking shit. bones Holy over Taiwan, shit. bro. Pledge your motherfucking allegiance <laughs> to Trump right now, or you don't care about your family. Man, you that don't is care about your, your wife's sisters or brothers and parents. Only child. Listen. Um... Damn, bro. He was prepared for this. I don't think that Trump <laughs> would support Taiwan. I've, I've said it before. I think the reason that we see Russia and China basically backing Trump or destabilizing Stabilizing America in Trump's favors. I think they know they have him in their pocket. They, Trump, Trump, yeah. yeah but, but that's all. The, but that's all the more reason that Trump can say, "I got this." Yo, you think Trump's in anybody's pocket? Yes. Who? China and Russia. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Obvious. Yo, Jokes. y'all are haters. Bro. And y'all gun, are haters, and, bro. and gun lobbyists. <laughs> y'all are haters in the Christian the NRA. lobby. In the Christian lobby. But y'all are haters, bro. <laughs> y'all are haters in the oil lobby. But y'all are haters, bro. In the fast food lobby. But y'all are haters, bro. So I hate on real Trump. He's definitely lobby. in the fast food lobby. Oh, he's getting a little bigger. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's getting a little bigger. But I mean, look, the, to me, the real the most dangerous part of this is that the American system has been built on this like unwritten understanding that when a president loses, they go off quietly into the sunset. And that's what ensures stability in America. Right. Mm. Gore lost a very heavily contested election, arguably. Gore got close, the election stolen from him. It's OK. Way to close. But he knew what the rules are. The rules are oh, wow. when it's over, you go away. You oh, don't wow. you don't stir shit up. You don't oh, make problems. Wow. This is what allows hold the on, system. Hold on. So now you believe in election fraud. Let Chris fraud. talk. Now you <laughs> believe you in mean? election fraud. Now this you believe in stolen election. When they steal it for the <laughs> Democrats. But Laura they steal got it from the, the Democrats. He got the election. The election got stolen. Come on, we know. Oh, we know. really? Okay, well, but I mean, what about with Trump? Which one? Well, well nah, Trump didn't get the election stolen from him. I, I agree. But still, no. the, but the still, it's worth pointing out. That. All right. Well, look, when the senior Bush <laughs> lost to Clinton, which he yeah. was very upset about, Clinton yes. was an upstart. He was Bush was the establishment. He went away. Now, did he put his son in position? Yes. But the point is, did he put Monica in position? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Not but, Bush. Right. Clinton was put. Oh, yeah. Set up. You think that he set her up for the gluck? gluck? Got sucked. She did start. Sucking. Bill got sucked. She did. Hey, this throat is empty. Can I have it filled? <laughs> Hi, excuse me, Mr. Clinton. My throat is That's empty. That's so stupid. It's yeah. stupid to think about like a gas monitor on your yeah. throat. <laughs> your throat. Your throat is on E. Oh. Sort of dick. Oh. Just... <laughs> my heart won't start. <laughs> my heart won't start because my throat is empty. Could you fill it up, please? Pretty please. Chris, continue making sense. Yeah. No, but I'm saying like, Democrat, Republican, everybody, when they lose, they're gone and they yeah. stay off the scene and they keep a low profile. And that's what allows the system to keep operating. And this guy has just destroyed the system, whether he's even reelected or not in 24, you know, and to the point about like the arrests. Yeah, he's going to absolutely if he wins, Damn, he's going to absolutely start. So, so let me ask you a question. Oh, he's going to start what, Chris? He's going to start trying to target officials lock oh, yeah. people up we're gonna fall Yo, into chaos like we, lock pe them all up. Yeah, people all people lock them forget all how fragile this system really is and how quickly you can Yo, fall you know what we forget Yo, no, show, we forget oh, no, show, chris has made a great point because precedence has been precedent has been set right, let's do that right. let's they set precedent by arresting him yeah you know what i mean so nobody can say Oh, man, we don't do this in America. But that's, that's the complication of this is yeah. I know what's going to happen because he got arrested. But the flip side is Trump's operated his entire life by daring you to call him out, by daring you to arrest him, to daring you to come after him. Everybody in this room knows he's guilty. There's no question that he's I guilty. I don't know about New York. Guilty of I don't what, know about New York. Chris? Atlanta, Georgia, by far. Georgia. He's not Georgia by far. Georgia. So what do you do? Do you say we just keep letting this guy get away with shit because we don't want to set the I, I think if you that's get him, I think if you get him on the Georgia charges, um, 
I don't really know about the federal ones, but if you get him on the Georgia charges, that's different because what's going to happen is he gets in office in 2024. I can just start locking people up for bullshit. Lock them up. Because because the New York charge seems like some bullshit. Lock them up. But now I can lock up Biden for any for lock anything up. or lock up Biden Hillary for anything. Jail. It won't even matter what the bullshit charge is because all he's going, all people going to think about is how they lock Trump up lock for something up. that people deem some bullshit. Lock up. So AOC. then, what do you do? You just let him keep cooking and doing what he wants? No, yes. no, no. If you go, if you're gonna if you're gonna hold people uh, accountable, really hold them accountable. He should have been in handcuffs. He should have had a mugshot. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to go after him in Georgia, go after him in Georgia. If you're Merrick Garland, you're going to really go after him. Like, I, you don't, I don't think know. they didn't do that because he successfully created the fear that there'd be another January 6th if they if they did all that and they put him in the handcuffs. But Chris, if we live in a country where somebody yeah, can have a Chris. threat of violence and a threat of violence keeps you from prosecution, we've completely <laughs> lost our government. Well, We've completely we lost our democracy. We, we are have. in a completely corrupt society. Chris don't it's care dysfunctional. About, it's over. Chris don't care We're about Taiwan. It's, Chris don't care about <laughs> Taiwan. You don't care about Israel. Hold on, give him yo, some backstory. Yo, Hold on, you got to give him backstory, though. What, Chris's wife and kids are from Taiwan. Well, my kids are from New York City, sure. But. Via Taiwan. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Chris, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Via Schultz, Taiwan, Chris Schultz is joking, but he brings up a good point. If, if Trump being in office keeps Taiwan safe. Yeah. And Israel. Uh, I don't I don't I, know if, I don't know if you're a one issue voter. And I'm Israel. not, but I will say this. Like I find what's the saying? Politics makes strange bedfellows. Yeah. I suddenly find myself liking, you know, he'd fuck Trump. He just said it. No, know? like talk that That's crazy. Shit. <laughs> talk that shit. Shut up, man. No, that's what I love. That's what I love. I like honesty. Politics is that's spicy. Honest. Chris is being honest. Come on. Right. So uh Come the on, president bro. of Taiwan Come was on, in America bro. last week. She met with McCarthy, who's the Ooh, head of the Republican the Senate, right? Yeah. Mm. All of a sudden I'm like, oh, what McCarthy's saying is making a little bit of sense right now. I disagree with him with 99% of everything else. But when it's my issue, sure, I'm a hypocrite. Thank you. Right? We're all hypocrites. Right. I'm We're just a hypocrite hypocrites. on less. That's how I choose Be a hypocrite. It. It's okay. You right. love Trump. You fucking love him. I don't him. think Trump would. You have love to, him. But I do not. Alex Media loves small Trump, business owners. Trump loves him. Trump, got would, ne- Red Trump, right Trump now. would never exactly. cross China. Trump would never cross China. What do you mean Trump would never cross China? He Trump's going to be harder on China than Biden is. No way. Are you kidding? No way. You know what they call Biden? In China? Let me hear it. Soup dumpling brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call him in China. That's his real name in fucking China. Do you want that? Do you want that as our president of the United States of America? Fuck all that. Oh, man. You know what, though? All jokes aside, there is something to what Schultz is saying as to how the rest of the country clearly does not fear America in any way, shape, or form the right world, now. You're saying, you got right. the rest of the world. I'm sorry. You see Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia guy was like, he talking. We about. have no reason. What he said, I forgot what the exact quote was. He, he was like, we have no reason race. to play nice with America anymore. But that's my point. Nobody fears America anymore. Nah. He, at all. He's talking crazy. Why is that, Chris? But I bet you he won't stay. I bet you won't come to America to talk that shit. I think it's posturing. I think it's trying to renegotiate deals. I mean, nobody wants to run to, I mean, maybe smaller countries want to align themselves with the Russia or China. Historically, that's been true. You, you, you think France is going to align itself with Russia? You think Germany is going to align itself with China? Like, Yo, that guy Macron, while his whole country's burning, was talking a little shit, even though he's a victim of molestation and rape. <laughs> yeah, he said that allegedly. Europe... Uh, he said, nah, not allegedly. His he, teacher, he married his teacher. His right. teacher, his high school teacher was fucking him while he was a child. I have no idea what he was talking about. That's a fact. I'm going to say he allegedly. Was groomed, I, he was groomed. He's definitely groomed. Oh, okay. He's definitely groomed. Well, allegedly. Anyway. Allegedly. But he, yeah, he said Europe and must... And he, re- he's the president. What? He said Europe must resist pressure to become America's followers. And he said the great risk Europe faces is getting caught up in crises that are not ours. That's what he said. He need to keep, he need to keep talking that shit and see what happens to his ass. I'm going to talk to his wife, mom. I'm going to talk to his wife, mom, and I'm going to have him spank his little ass for talking that little shit. That's crazy. How fucking dare you? Won't These be, motherfuckers hey, talking won't shit. Won't be no Andrew Schultz Europe tour. Yeah, I know, right? I'm all coming. You, all you I'm coming to Europe. <laughs> I'm coming to China. And you're not leaving. I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be locked up. Is that a vape pit? I'm going to be locked back, up back. forever. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. But I'm coming oh, up. Oh, man. No, for real. We need to start oh, talking a little man. bit more shit. Speaking of coming, uh, salute to all the aunties that got cummed on at Freak Nick in the 90s. Um, Whoa. There was, what? 
<laughs> that was part of it. What? That was like a high five what? back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. A lot of a lot of your moms, if you're listening, you're it's from the down truth. south. That's right. A lot of your moms is getting nutted on down to freak nick. And this is what I hope this documentary explores. Explore both sides. What do you mean how? Look at the Look at, go back and watch any old Freak Nick footage. We have all these conversations about women empowerment and sexual liberation. These were empowered, sexually liberated women who went down to Freak Nick to enjoy themselves. Yeah, How I mean, is that there, not true? They're saying true. there's a lot of examples of sexual assault. Of course there world. was, but there's also a lot of, look at that. Look, we're watching the videos. Mm-hmm. Yo, listen, there's two sides is what I'm saying. Yes, there's women that went down there and got sexually assaulted, but there's also women that went down there and had a great fucking time. Yeah. What are we talking about? Women like this woman who don't want the video to come out because she knows she was having a good time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This woman this woman said, y'all, we might be in trouble. Let me tell you something. Yeah. When one person does a video and says, y'all, we might be in trouble. Like, Y'all coming with me. <laughs> I'm not going down by myself. Oh, listen to listen to auntie. Y'all, I don't know. We might be in trouble. Did y'all see Hulu is about to release a documentary about 94 Freak Nick? Yes. Yes. 1994 Freak Nick. Yes. That's right. They are about to release a documentary. So, um... I'm just now. I, I've been to several Freak Nicks. Ninety four was one that she I attended. One, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm just praying that Jesus be a fence. I'm See? praying that Jesus just be a big, tall prize That's right. fence. That's my prayer. Because she this had a Easter, good, this good Friday. fucking time. That's my prayer. So um, you know, I will say this though. I will say this. Like when they would bring out those video cameras and start recording, I immediately removed myself from. The um that situation. I never ever ever um was okay with being recorded out there. That's right. So um hopefully that worked to my benefit, but you know, you never know. You never know. So the only thing I got is if you see your girl in the documentary, hey man, at least I'm fully clothed. At least all my clothes is on. That's that's all I got. (laughs) That's that's the best I got. But yeah, y'all. They about to put our business out in the street. See? To, some of us might be on TV. I ain't judging her. They can't even put their business out in the street. Yeah. Why? I think they need permission. They all they gotta go do is blur their face. face. That's all they do. They blur their face. You don't. You don't care what the face look like. All you can. All you can do is look at the actions yeah. of how's it going down. Oh, shit. you know what I'm saying? I don't like this though. I don't like it because I feel like the 1900s should stay in the 1900s. You Amen. know what I'm saying? I don't want to see Freak Nick. I don't want to see Myrtle Beach Black Bike Weekend. I don't want to see uh, the Florida Classic. I don't want to see Daytona. No. I don't want to see none of that shit. No, January I want to see sense. all of it. Nah, you don't. Nah, fuck that. Week. <laughs> week. <laughs> it's got good. Why are we worried about old yeah, shit? Right. Like, come on. Hey, let that hey, shit go. Hey, you know what's so funny? Let that shit go. Who was, hey, Taylor, who was the girl who called the radio station? And she said something. Uh, she said something about women. And I brought up Adam and Eve. I was like, actually, the first person that was deceitful to God was a woman. It was Eve. She took the apple. And she was like, man, stop bringing up old shit. That's so, what I'm she saying, was like, no. <laughs> yeah, stop doing it on the path. That's what I'm saying, saying <laughs> though. January 6th, too. Like, yo, like, let's not talk about these events. Oh, these these events in American history. I do want Uncle Luke to get his just doodle. I want Uncle Luke to get a documentary. He deserves it. He absolutely positively deserves it. And, you know, uh, salute to Ida Rodriguez. I, Ida Rodriguez used to be an intern for Uncle Luke. She used to work for Uncle Luke when she was younger. Mm. And we were having this same conversation. We were talking about Freak Nick and all of these places. And we were talking about the women who had great times there and actually went there because they were having fun. Like, they were free women, right? And she was like, that was Uncle Luke's whole thing. His whole thing was about having women who were sexually liberated and mm. wanted to do what they wanted to do. Amen. Mm. Great man. You know what I mean? Great man. Wasn't well, making them do anything. Hero. Nah, but I want all these docs to come out because y'all generation had way too much fun. We can't have no fun because we have cameras everywhere. But that's on y'all. Everywhere. Y'all are squares. Y'all having no, great No, it's because we have cameras everywhere, so we can't really... Y'all do Freak Nick every day, bro. No, we don't. Y'all have Freak Nick every day. No, we where? All the time. Where? All I do, when I go online, I, that, shit, that, that, that shit right there used to be like sacred footage. Or you used to have to go places to see shit like that. I can just go on Instagram right now and see that type of wallet. Mm. Literally right now. I can mm. pull up videos from spring break last week that looked like Freak Yo, Nick in the night. Spring break was oh, absolutely so. bananas. The only difference is y'all got gunshots now. People get shot at y'all shit. Not right. saying that we didn't get shot back then, but yeah, way more people get shot at y'all shit now. That's probably true. Way more people get but shot. But yo, y'all will never know what spring break was like. That shit was fucking insane. Spring break where? Mexico, bro. 
Yeah. Oh, I never did that. Oh my god. I did that one year. That shit was crazy. Oh, really? White my... white people go crazy there. Oh, go crazy everywhere. No, but like it's no, 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 no. This that was white freak. It was white. Freak. Really, white freak Nick was motherfucking Spring Break, Mexico, Cancun, bananas. You been there? I hosted that shit for MTV, the last one. Really, bro? It was it was crazy, crazy. Come in. Yeah. <laughs> like, come in, come in. Nah, it was fucking nuts. And then before that, we went to Rosarito. That shit was crazy. What is Rosarito? Z. We did that when we were in college. Where's Whoa. that at? Whoa, that's in Mexico too. Whoa, wow. whoa. Yeah, man. Keep these war stories to ourselves. We don't need to be documented. Agreed. Like, why? Agreed. For what? Nah. For what? To nah, have, fuck that. Because, because nope. think about it. We're already having silly conversations. Like, are, already people are like, oh, all people did was get sexually assaulted. Or sexually. That's not all that would happen. Like, nine, 85 to 90 percent of that shit was probably people just having a great but time. let's also acknowledge that, yes, maybe 10 <clears throat> or 15 percent of the time women were assaulting men. And that's something. Nobody that talks should- about that. No, no, no. You, you were. Women were very Nobody talks about that. A girl tried to fuck me because I was wearing diesel jeans. <laughs> said, oh, you got diesel jeans on. Tried to fuck That's me. That's what you get. I fucked her, but not because she, she liked the diesel <laughs> jeans or nothing like that. I thought that eventually we built up a nice rapport. But to Listen. come up to me and assault me just because I was wearing a pair you of jeans. You think no dicks think that were that getting grabbed at Freaknik? You Bruh. think ladies weren't walking down the strip grabbing dicks, Bruh. slapping dudes on the ass? Bruh. Come on, y'all. Bruh. You really? We gotta learn the history, then. Girls grab nah. dicks. We gotta learn the history. They do the yeah, whole that's thing not to fair. Put their hands down their pants. It's fucking crazy. It's disgusting, actually. To be honest with you. You know what's so interesting? I thought about this, right? Like you think about like Uncle Luke's music, and Uncle Luke always encouraged women to do things. Like he'd be like, you know, let me see you shake them titties, pop that pussy, doo doo brown, right? That's why the South is so fun. Uh, why up north did people have to grab their dicks because they loved hip hop? Because no one was grabbing their dicks. That, we, we didn't grab, have we grab titties. Too. Oh, you had to grab your own. You grab, grab your you grab, dicks if you, you love hip hop. Ladies, rub your tits if you Let's love hip hop. Let's not brush past the grabbing dick part. Okay, we know that titties were brushed, but why do you have to grab your dicks if you? Who love sang hip-hop? that song? Biggie. Biggie. God bless I, yo, dick. Biggie got some sus sus oh, yo, lyrics. Relax. Bro. We've, done, we've, relax. we've done this already. Relax. No, but I'm just. I never thought about that one. Like, why you want every dude in the crowd to the grab their dick if you love hip hop? <laughs> you can put your hand in the air. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Do a hey ho. Yo, grab your meat. If you yo, love hip hop, it's yo, crazy. If you love what I'm saying right now. Grab <laughs> That's your meat. Cra- That's crazy. If you enjoy Listen. the shit I'm doing, grab, grab your, your meat, dick, fellas. Yo. This is why I love the 90s. And then he was like, uh, also women, grab your titties. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and women, grab your titties. Nah, he, also. Was, he, was, he was young. This is why young. I love the 90s, man. Like 90s 21. New York was so progressive, yo. 90s New York was so progressive. Also, when we say that that Biggie has some sus lyrics, we're not saying this in terms of him just being regular. We're saying him being a Jamaican guy. A Jamaican guy Big is not going to have... Biggie was Jamaican? Me? Oh, you know, he was, he was, he was. You're right, you're right. Excuse you're right. me. You're right, he was Jamaican. Excuse me. <laughs> he was. <laughs> He was Jamaican. He you was don't Jamaican. get that big without eating beef patties and plantain. No, nah, he was Jamaican. He was Jamaican. He was Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> Coco, bro. So my point is, he's going to have Jamaican-level homophobia. And for those lyrics to still come out. Aggressive. Ooh. Ooh, man, shout out to Big. The greatest what you mean, of all grab your time. dicks if I love hip hop? <laughs> what you mean? You don't tell me to grab me dick at the concert. <laughs> Yo, listen, well, back in the day, you loved Big so much. You know, you still grab yeah. your dick. Even now. That song, come on, you're going to grab your dick. You're going to say pause, but you're going to still grab your dick. Bro, I... Also, that shouldn't be considered suspect now that I think about it. Grab your dick? We jerk off. You got to grab your dick to jerk off. I think you're making it gayer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think you're making it gayer saying. without realizing it. You got to jerk again. off. You're doing it again. You gra- <laughs> what, you you're doing it again. Off. You think you're making the argument, <laughs> feed this horse. Worse. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. How you doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> this horse going to get fed, God damn it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> This is a stupid podcast. <laughs> yo, I don't know yo, why y'all stupid. listen to this stupid Free shit. Free Trump, man. though. Free Ronald <laughs> Reagan. Let's pay some bills. You know what I mean? <laughs> Free the goats. That's Free the goats. Stupid yo. podcast. Free the man. goats, bro. <laughs> Free the goats. Oh, man. Uh, let's talk a little game time, shall we? 
Let's do it. Uh, game time, game time, game time. Buying tickets to your favorite event shouldn't be stressful. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater near you. With great deals on last-minute tickets and their best price guarantee, you can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting the hype for the fun you'll have, okay? Game time is the place for last-minute ticket deals, even killer deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. The Game Time Guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. You heard right, 110%. It's the fastest growing ticketing app in the country for a reason. Buy tickets in a matter of seconds. Two taps in your set. Tickets are sent directly to your phone so you never have to dig through your email. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code IDIOTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code IDIOTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Now let's get back to the show. Shows, you got any church announcements? Yo, uh, yes, sir. I got some shows, man. I got some shows coming up. We're okay. Do a nice little uh, like spring, summer tour. Um, I'm going to be doing, uh, Gary V's VCon. That's yep. going to be wild. Yep. Then I'm going to also be performing at, uh, in Gary, Indiana. There's a hard rock live casino. out The home there. of the Jacksons, baby. Oh, that's right. Don't use the Michael Jackson jokes I for got, Gary. I, I might have to, I might have to <laughs> drop some old stuff then. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to do the, uh, Pachanga Resort and Casino as well. And then we're going to do a show up in Reno, um and uh, then we're coming up to uh, Calgary as well. So make sure you go to theandrewshows.com, get those tickets for the summer tour. Excited to be back out there. It's going to be wild. Man. Um, I got some church notes. I had to write some stuff down. Ooh. Uh, just to, uh, first of all, I want to salute our guy, Chris Moreau. Uh, a lot of happened over the last couple of weeks while we were, were away. You know me and Kevin Hart. We got a company at Audible called SBH, Short Black mm. and Handsome Productions. Uh, we're in business with Audible. We've put out uh, two stellar projects, man. Finding Tamika, which has won so many different awards. It won the uh, DuPont Award for, at Columbia University, man. Um, so salute to Finding Tamika. But Chris Moreau, which summer of 85, he won an Audi. We're clap it up for Chris Moreau, y'all. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. summer of 85 won an Audi. I can't wait till we clap it up for Chris for becoming Chinese, man. Because He already he is, bro. Chris got a passport. Yeah. No, no. Once, once Taiwan, you know. Chris, tell them what is the Audi. Chris, tell them like what is what is the like equivalent of an Audi in the audio world, like an Oscar, right? It'd be between like an Oscar and Emmy. Yes, I would say yes, Oscar and Emmy. I think I, uh, probably more Emmy. You think? Yeah, yeah think probably more Emmy because the Dupont Award is like the Oscar. Yeah, and I would also say the Ambies is the other big one. The Ambies. Yeah, you want an Ambie too, right? Did not win an Ambie, just an Audi. Oh. We were nominated for an Ambie. No, that was uh, Finding Tamiko. Oh, Finding Tamiko nominated for an Ambie. Yes, yes. You were nominated. Yes. You were. But still, you know, uh, Summer of 85, man, a uh, great project. Go check it out on Audible if you haven't. It tells the story of the MOVE movement in, uh, in Philadelphia, you know, when the, our government uh, bombed the MOVE movement in Philadelphia, right? Right in 1985, man, and the correlation between that <clears throat> and Live Aid, which was interesting because, you know, Live Aid was to raise money. Africa. So you bombed this place that they called Little Africa, but also raised money for it in the same city in the same summer. Coincidence? I don't know. But the summer of 85 uh, tells the tale. So check that out and congrats to Chris Moreau again. I also want to tell everybody, make sure to scream 88 the movie. 88 the movie is a Goldwyn film starring uh, Brandon V. Dixon, Notori Naughton, and Orlando Jones, executive produced by me. It is screaming everywhere right now. Uh, anywhere you watch uh, movies, Apple, Amazon. So go check that out, 88 The Movie. And I want to tell everybody, man, thank you. The Black Effect Podcast Festival is happening August, I mean, April 22nd in Atlanta, Georgia, Saturday, April 22nd. We got like 300 tickets left, man. You know what I mean? So please, you know, go to eventbrite.com, get those tickets. Uh, go to blackeffect.com for more information. Some of your favorite Black Effect podcasts will be on that stage. 85 South Show, uh, Horrible Decisions with Mandy and Wheezy, Reasonably Shady with Giselle Bryan and Robin Dixon, um, Checking In with Michelle Williams. It's all hosted by me and my good sister, Jess Hilarious. Jess has a podcast on the Black Effect 2 called Carefully Reckless. But April 22nd, Atlanta, Pullman Yards, Black Effect Podcast Festival, like 300 tickets are left, literally, and will be sold out. So thank you to everybody that's been going to get uh, those tickets, and we'll see you in Atlanta on April 22nd. And last but not least, uh, the Breakfast Club, you know, my baby. 
my baby, my baby. Whoa, whoa, there whoa, would be whoa, no, whoa. there would be none of that other stuff that I just mentioned uh, without the Breakfast Club. Um, starting on this Monday, April seventeenth, you can watch the Breakfast Club uh, at nine a.m. on BET and VH1. Let's know? go. Yeah. Uh, so, so it'll be it'll be right. simulcast on BET and VH1 starting uh, Monday. April 17th, this Monday. So it's live? <clears throat> it's like Howard Stern's show used to be? or um, Well, Howard wasn't live either. Howard did the, H- Howard did what we're doing uh, when he was on E. It used to be like the best of... Love that. I don't know I don't know if Howard did the best of the week or if Howard did the best of the morning. Because Howard used to come on once a week, right? I don't think they showed the... Yep, whole, yep, yep, yep. It was once a week. So yep. it was the best of the week. Our show is going to be the best of that morning. So uh, whatever comes on the air that morning, whatever interview, whatever topics we're discussing it'll be shown uh in an hour on on bet so donkey of the day all of that stuff bt and bh that day and then flip it out that day we got got the whole we got the whole bet crew uh in the studio right now and you know they they they, right then and there you know i love that we've actually been doing mock episodes the past couple of weeks how'd it go you know what i mean I haven't watched any of them. You know what I mean? I, I, I can't think about both of that shit. I got to go in there and do but my job. Meaning, like, <clears throat> how was it having the extra cameras in there? How was it? Well, I mean, it, it's no different. You okay. know what I mean? Because Breakfast Club has always operated like that. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But now like, you, have, I would assume there's a bigger crew and that kind of stuff. But if not. Um, no. Since, I mean, since, I mean, you got to think we was on Revolt for like five, six years. So there was uh, always yeah. all of those different yeah. camera angles. You know, it's no, it's, it's honestly literally no different. And I couldn't, I couldn't do my job if I had to, like, worry about that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So salute to BET for not getting in our way. But uh, every Monday, April 17th, starting uh, this Monday, 9 a.m., you can watch The Breakfast Club on BET and, and VH1. And actually, it's not even just BET. We have our own production crew that, that we put together. So our own production crew. You guys produce it, package it for them. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And Love and it. Give it to BET. Congratulations. Yeah. That's a great move. Absolutely. Um, what else we got, man? What we got, Taylor? What else happened this week, the last couple of weeks? Walmart under fire for shirt. What is this about? Let me read the article. Walmart has discontinued selling a T-shirt in its stores after going viral for the controversial word written on the clothing. <clears throat> last week, a woman who goes by the username who sucked what? What did that say? Who sucked now? Who sucked daddy now? Oh, no. Who's your daddy now? Gained a lot of attention on Twitter after doing some shopping at her local Walmart, only to come across a shirt with a hidden word on it. Uh, what is the hidden word? I need this shirt before Walmart realizes what they've done, she wrote. Find the hidden word. While it's probably not that no. Oh. Cycle, use, Recycle, new reuse, thing. reuse, redo, so, rethink. C-U-N-T, if you look down. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Taylor is so crazy. Taylor had me thinking this whole time the shirt's said retarded, yo. Taylor was on the way here. No, 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 no. On the way here, Taylor showed me the shirt and Taylor was like, Taylor was like, yo, they taking these shirts out of Walmart because they say re on it. And I was, I, I'm like, I can't take it no more. I said, I hate this woke culture, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm thinking they're mad at re just because it says re. So you can't even make that short for retarded. Yes. Re. No. But we do call them re Reese. Yeah, I call them re Reese. Taylor, how do you not say you have one? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> This is crazy. Is this crazy. is fucking crazy, yo. That is a good point. This is crazy. How could you not see that? I saw that shit immediately. Immediately. No. There's nothing about that that's retarded. No, but there is a cunt <laughs> there. <laughs> Clearly, there's a cunt there. Big old cunt on the front of that shirt. What? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> <laughs> that- is so big on that shirt. Donald Trump will grab it. He might. But I'm bummed. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, do girls get upset about that word? Oh, yeah, that's man. That's only a white thing to me. Black people don't say in our community. Black people don't say the word. Yeah, I've never heard it. We, never, yeah. we don't say like. Uh, yeah, not as well, an I insult. I have heard a black person say the word. Yeah, that's not as right. an insult. I didn't even think it was considered an insult until I was told it was an insult. What did you think it was? I, just, I thought it was a vagina. I just thought it was another name for vagina. For oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, this is a great story. Okay. The Dalai Lama, mm. or the Daddy Lama, as he's known, <laughs> in some places, uh, the spiritual head of the Tibetan community apologized one day after a spiritual bizarre video. <laughs> after, after a bizarre <laughs> video of him kissing a young Indian boy on the lips 
and then asking the boy to suck his tongue. Now, I saw people defending him uh, when I when I gave him donkey. Well, I gave him donkey today, but I saw people defending him when I was doing my research on the story. They said in Tibet, um, sticking your tongue out is actually a sign of respect, right? So this is the this is the excuse they're using. What I would tell all you digital dickheads, okay, all <laughs> you all you internet imbeciles, is that okay, that might be true. Sticking your tongue out is a sign of respect, but what about when you ask somebody to suck your tongue, bro? That's more intimate than sucking dick. Yo. It is, yo. That's facts. You have somebody to suck your tongue? That's crazy. That's more intimate than That's sucking crazy. dick. Suck my tongue is crazy. It's crazy as fuck. I think we need to hear out. I think we need to hear out China. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Like, for years, <laughs> Tibet has been like, we're being oppressed. Free Tibet. Free Tibet from China. And it's now the head of fucking Tibet is asking little kids to suck his tongue. It's like, maybe China was right, bro. Maybe they yo, need a little bit of organization. Yo, what if the president of China was like, I told you, stupid motherfucker. You this is why... Now what y'all gonna do now? Go, what y'all gonna do now? He should be literally the the, the GG Ping or whatever his name should be posting. What y'all gonna do now? What y'all gonna do now with this video? China was right, bro. Oh, it's rare on this oh, podcast. Man. You see me going. China was right, but China Look at was this right. Shit, Schultz. Hey, yo. <laughs> Look. He said, "Now suck my tongue." Come on, yo. Why, why y'all watching this? Why, First why of all, man, you an 80-something-year-old man. I don't know any 80-year-old. And I got, smell I got some geriatric friends that I love. What y'all gonna do now? And they don't be around you without no mask. And they especially not gonna be around no little germy-filled kids without a mask. This dude is out here like, suck my tongue? Yeah, That's bro. Wild. You know what I'm saying? Huge L for Buddhism. And Huge L. <laughs> <laughs> Huge L for Buddhism. I, Isn't Buddhism about, like, removing all your desires? No, nah, I agree. Isn't that the whole thing with Buddhism? Like, you reach nirvana yeah. by removing all your desires. Well, it seemed like you desired that little kid suck on his fucking tongue. Word yeah. is more. How can he be your leader? And I know that probably Look made a lot of people... Huh? Leaders leaders that remove their urges, they end up with little kids a lot little of Little kid time. fetishes, bro. Yeah. But isn't wow. that an urge? Hell I yeah. Mean, but he's yeah. saying leaders that remove their urges, like like priests and shit like that. I, I know that when people see this, that's what they thought about, right? They thought the first thing you think about is the Catholic priest, mm. right? Mm. This falls right in line with that shit, mm. man. Bruh. <laughs> Have you heard that? Kind of got to step in, bro. Have you heard, have you heard that sticking your in. tongue out was a sign of respect, Chris? No. You never heard that? I read that this morning. They said it's a bet. Like sticking your tongue out is considered Maybe a sign of respect. Maybe making this shit yeah. up and as we they just go believe along. it because nah, they're not real. white, bro. That's, that's I his, hate when countries do that that's shit. That's his PR team just trying yeah, to Yeah, I've never heard that. Yeah, no. get the fuck out of here. There's no... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the sucking part. He said, "Suck my tongue." Super A. Look, what is the Tibetan culture of tongue greeting? Sticking out your tongue is traditionally a sign of respect. Our agreement has also been used as a greeting in Tibetan culture, according to the Institute of East Asian Studies at the University of California. Nah, Berkeley. bro. You got to know better. Listen, sticking out the tongue is one thing. Asking, asking somebody to suck your tongue is another, bro. Crazy. What Yo, would you rather wake, have? Wake up, Trax. <laughs> wake the fuck up, Trax. <laughs> what would you rather have? Trax be falling asleep. <laughs> and I watch him fall asleep. <laughs> so I saw that phone ha hanging in his hand for dear life. <laughs> Yo, son. What's more, what, what's more intimate, drag, sucking a bro. tongue or sucking a dick? Nah, I think you were right. Sucking a tongue is way more intimate. Bro. Word. Yeah. Sucking a dick is just crazy. Not really. Nah, it's cr I don't know why these chicks do that shit. Nah, 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 nah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. They be sucking dicks in bathrooms nah, and don't shit. Do that. Don't do that. Don't nah, it's facts, bro. I mean, the, the dick is convenient for that, though. Say again? The dick is made for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the dick is conveniently made to get sucked anywhere. That's why the vagina is like the eating pussy is is way more intimate. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to actually be in a eating pussy place is to eat. Crazy, bro. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Even to this day, like diet, love it. Like put it in my food groups. <laughs> wow. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Really? Why is the woman in the room going ill? Why do you want cum in your food? What are you talking about? What? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so, Taylor, what is up with you? Taylor, this? I'm buying you that reshirt, yo. <laughs> yeah. Taylor, 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 Taylor just randomly goes, why do you want cum in your food? Who said that? I'm <laughs> buying Taylor the reshirt, yo. Go ahead. Well, I saw, hope y'all ain't pull that shit off the shelf. That's why she only saw the re in that. <laughs> <laughs>
He felt seen. Yo, yo, Taylor, yo, Taylor. Re-recognize Rio. Yo. Taylor, re- re-recognize Rio. Yo, facts, dude. Facts. Holy shit. Did we just find out what Taylor is yeah. now? That's oh, like, my God. That's so crazy what I said. You just said you would want to have pussy on your, in your food, right? That's not what I said. What'd you say? Taylor, get the mic. That's people can't she hear got you. Yeah, that's not what I said. Yeah, I said right. that I consider vagina is one of my food groups. Oh, part of my diet. Uh, so you're assuming I'm Taylor right. knows what the word diet means. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to make that joke. <laughs> and I, I was waiting for you to make it. And you didn't make it. And I, I had to throw it out there. <laughs> Taylor, I had to throw it out there. Taylor, you want to do some math? I knew I shouldn't have said it. I knew I shouldn't have said Taylor, it. I'm always what? on Taylor's side. Taylor. I knew I shouldn't have done it. I'm gonna pay some bills. <laughs> Whoa, we need a reset after that. One. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. Jesus Christ! Just got throwing gas. Why you did that nuke for no reason? Stop there was no it, reason because you didn't one. throw it. I didn't want. I'm it was no reason. Tired. You said four different sentences. No, full wells right there. Okay. How many times did you say it? This is your fault. Food groups, food pyramid, diet. You kept mentioning it, and you just didn't hey, Yo, shoot. salute to everybody on that diabetic pill, yo. That diabetic pill. Y'all bugging, yo. Why? There's got to be some side effects to that shit. If you're losing weight that fucking fast. Like yeah, people, but there's also side effects of being fat. Yeah. Yes. So it's much better to, to have take those that side pill short term. term. Is it? Yeah. How do we know We that? don't know. Obesity we, is like one of the... Biggest factors that kill people. Every why you also, say biggest? You're right. Obesity is one of the biggest factors in um, just being disgusted while you look at something. <laughs> That's another thing that people don't <laughs> count in. Right? They don't ever look at that. And then, Here's the thing: <laughs> like obesity is one of the biggest factors of like looking at someone just going. Ugh. Okay. That's, that so is listen. Important. What if you are obese, right? Yeah. And that obesity is going to cut like. Just say 10, 15 years of your life, you might get some type of, you know, uh, uh, cardiovascular disease, something mm-hmm. like that. But you take this pin, you lose weight, but the pin still is impacting your cardiovascular and whatever else. And you're still only going to live 10, 15 years, but you just look better. But you would be better for the time that you're going to be alive. Okay. That's the argument. Yeah. Now, right. if it's right. worse, then don't do it. Yeah. But right now, I think that the idea... Okay, the problem is when somebody's not overweight, but they just want to be skinny, and then they take it. When the people are like super overweight, like the people that do that lap band surgery, I think yeah. it's called. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's not good for you, and I'm sure that affects your body in a bunch of different ways, and it's not that healthy. But it's- I think we've got. I, I could be wrong. I would say that we have more trials to show that the lap band is probably safer than the diabetic pin. The 100%. diabetic pin seem new as fuck. One hundred percent. And I know a lot of people on this shit. Like people that I fuck with. Like what? Me on the diabetic pin? Like, Everybody's doing it to be skinny now. Yeah, I saw somebody recently, and I'm like, "What's up, bro? You look good. You vegan now?" And they were like, nah, I'm on that diabetic pen. Ozempic. And I was like, why? You weren't even that, you weren't fat. I wouldn't think you were that fat that you had to be on a diabetic pen. They said that shit burns off weight. Crazy. You just don't, you lose your appetite, right? Yeah, you lose your appetite, which can't be healthy. I think that, yeah. I think, no, I think it makes you like lose your appetite for the bad foods. Like you don't want to eat like sugars and carbs all and all food, that right? stuff. Well, just oh, go. all? Yeah. We oh. can just, it does what? So you just takes you longer to digest things, uh, I guess. And then because of that, yeah. You know what causes you to lose your appetite for all that shit too? Changing your diet. When you simply change your diet, like I went away, I was uh, I was uh, on vacation last week. I went to St. Lucia. And Ooh. What? That's why you came here looking off chocolate. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. Damn, hey, bro. hey is right. <laughs> hey is. Right. I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeve, yo. Man, hold up, I don't do that gay shit now. <laughs> yo, if Trump tweets that, if Trump tweets, <laughs> I ain't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeve, dude. Bro, if uh, Trump tweets that, it's over, right? Black people forgive him for everything. Just be honest. Huh? <laughs> nah. Why black people? Oh, they, they, nah, nah, nah. Y'all dictate culture. Can y'all just love oh, Trump nah, for a little nah, bit? It's better it's bars. Fun. I don't Taylor, know. Taylor, just like Trump. They, Honestly, Trump got to win over black women. I just wrote about this. In my, my, I, I, I'm, I'm writing my new book. I literally just wrote a whole chapter about the, uh, the you know, people talk about uh, black males are gravitating towards Trump. It's not all black Forget males. the black you know men. I mean? Black women. If you get black they, women. That's never happening because no, they got sense. If. <laughs> never if, happening. 
But if Trump can convince black women, if Trump can get Never on board with black women, it's over. It's done. Well, that's not happening. Don't he got to do it. Bro. Don't bet on that horse. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening. Say okay. that again, bro. No. Say that no, again. Trump going to hear this. Do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Trump, listen. This is fair podcast. Listen, <laughs> Trump going to hear that, bro. If Trump gets black women on his, on his uh, side, it's over. That but, ain't happening. But is my logic right? If he gets them on his side, it's over. Yo, this is crazy. He won't even acknowledge Yo, Van, we doing the pod. We were just talking about fat people, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Van. Hey, 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 I want to let y'all know something. Get y'all jokes out right now because I'm on Ozempic. What is yeah. that? He's on the pen. You on the diet pen? I'm on the diet. I'll be back to where I was in no time. I'm literally losing, I'm literally losing eight pounds a week. What I'm you doing with it? <laughs> Who are you giving it to? Nobody, because <laughs> girls getting their BBLs removed. You can't use it like you used to. Yeah, you got to donate like <laughs> Rob did with the Kardashians. I mean, I got to, bro, bro, listen, here's the thing. I'm in my, I'm getting a hair transplant too. I said, fuck it, bro, I got money. Why should I look like the rest of these fat, bald niggas? I'm not going bro. Whoa, I'm whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trump said the same thing. Yo, Why should man. I look like the rest of these fat, bald niggas? Yo, Van. <laughs> Van, Van is Schultz. Yo, yo, Van. How does Trump get black women on his side? Jesus Christ! How does Trump exactly? Leave? Jesus Christ. That's the only way. That might be it. How man. does Trump? What a good question. How does Trump get? Who could Trump say? Nobody. Black women. Nobody. On his side. Maybe. Okay. 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 Talk I just that. thought about this. Talk that. Pardon, uh, uh, uh Asada Shakur. That's still not going to work. Nah. nah that's not that's going to get black dudes. Black women, bro. What can he do for black women, Van? Because if he gets black women, it's over. Why, it's a wrap. Why wouldn't the Shakur thing work, you think, Van? Because it's not, I'm gonna be, if I'm being real, because it's not, it's not flashy enough. That's only going to get some of the black women. Got you. You, know, you, would have to, you would have to pardon like a Meg the Stallion. Or, Meg didn't do nothing. <laughs> I know, but frame her for some shit and then pardon her. <laughs> I mean, I mean, no, seriously, it, all jokes aside, I don't know that there's anything. And I'll tell you why. It's because black women black got women sense. Too, they too educated, bro. That's right. They, black women aren't easily influenced. They're not. Like, we talked about, We it's funny, we talked about this on the podcast. And, the, and I, I believe, sincerely, that in terms of the black men out there, there's been a brain drain in terms, in terms of the way we look at things politically to where Trump, a guy like Trump, it's easy for him because he's a rebel, because he's funny, because he has that type of charisma. He got the gangster shit with him. Gangster shit with him, and they've always looked up to him. It's easy. Black women, they go to college, they talk about these issues a lot. They're little, they, their antennas are too up. I don't know if they're... They don't like old thugs. Nah, they don't. And plus, you know, Trump would... And Trump don't have that thing that they, that they respond to. There's nothing about Trump that I can see that would make a black woman fuck with him. Like, think about it. All the Trump shit is hyper, 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 hyper man. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Now, explain, explain Diamond and Princess. God bless, not Diamond and Princess. Um, Diamond and Silk, God bless the dead. Explain Candace Owens then. Explain, no, explain Amarosa when she did fuck with him. I mean, when I'm talking about black women, obviously there are tons of black women, hundreds of thousands, probably millions of black women that fuck with Trump. I mean, maybe not millions, so... I mean, it's not all black women, but when we talk about black women, we're talking about the 93% or 94% or whatever it is of black women that voted with the Democrats. Obviously, Diamond and Silk and the rest of them, you're going to have some that just go along with the conservative ideology or they're evangelical and they're going to be with Trump. But to get through, to make that number like it is for black men, like 85, I think it's 85 or 88%, to really dig into it, I don't know if there's anything he could do. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. I don't think he could do it. We're going to figure it out, though. Don't worry about it, man. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. It It is high time that we start having, rather than vilify everybody, and rather than make everybody look like they crazy, it's really high time we start having a discussion about why so many niggas like Trump. And, it, and it's, it's not a mirage. It's not, you can't insult it away. I just wrote about that. I literally just wrote about that for my new book. You like, you... It's a real thing. So you've got to fucking talk about it. Like, the acting, 
Rachel's on the podcast going crazy, all mad about act. I really like Trump. For whatever but but, but that, that's not rooted in anything political, though. That's rooted in everything you said before. It's just the it's antics funny. of with Donald Trump. Yeah, he's yeah, fun. Funny. He's, he's funny. entertaining. He's entertaining. We live in a country that worships celebrity. Like, that's that's literally all it is. But, uh, but like, one thing I can't, I'll, I'll say I'll check it back. But also, there's something else. You're about to make that order. You're about to order that number one with ch- extra cheese. It's not a number one. It's a number four super size with one layer of cheese between each layer of meat. God, God damn. damn. God, God damn. Shit. You want, bro, you want, I, 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 bro, you see, y'all don't understand, bro. bro. I'm a fucking fat, I'm a fat pioneer. I'm not a regular fat nigga. I invented new ways to be fat, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, 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 the notorious VAN is crazy. Yeah. Right. There's, there's something else you gotta see. There's something else you gotta, like, act is rich. All right? And so, if we in the hood, right, I want you to think about this real quick. If we in the hood, or we in the community, or whatever, and we worship guys who got rich, no matter how they got there, think about this. Like, if we're talking about, we all know the place that the dope dealers have in the hood. We all know the place that the pimps would have in the hood. I'm not saying this as some kind of, like, uh, weird, overstated stereotype that we all look up to dope dealers and pimps. But we know that Hove and all of these stories are hustling there was a way that we related to that because we understand the conditions that they come from. Now, if the goal is to get rich, no matter how you get rich, right? It don't really matter what happens. If the goal is to get rich, all that matters is that you got there. No matter how many people got killed, no matter how many people got, I mean, play, pretty women got drugs sold to them, don't matter. So you're there. And once you get there, the only thing that matters is that you stay rich. And so if you're a guy that already has money and there's some guy that's coming along and telling you, hey, I'm going to cut taxes so you always stay rich. Well, for a lot of dudes who have that same mentality, it's going to be hard for them to understand a reason, and this is actual policy here, why they should pay more taxes. How many people are tapped in like that? How many people do you think are really tapped into to that part of it? I, don't, I, don't, I really don't think they are. I'm not saying that a lot of people are, but I'm saying that Act is one of them. Mm. See what I'm saying? Like, when you listen to him, you hear him complaining about the taxes that he had to pay. You hear him complaining about so the government taking away all the money, and you hear him talking about how rich he is. He is one of them. And if he's not connected to culture in any way, like if he's not connected to a culture in a way where he understands what maybe paying a little bit more or what fiscal policy of the left, might, how that might benefit the community, he's always going to be with a guy like Trump because it's like bucket, right? So we have to look at that. Like, we have to look at that kind of culture and why guys are actually gravitating towards him and realize that it's not going to stop. I can tell you one thing. Being rich in the fastest country ain't going to be fun. <laughs> All right? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all, can, y'all you, you have to use that money to get the fuck on if you know what I know. All right. Uh, Andrew, we ain't talking in a while. Proud of you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Thank you. You too, my brother. All right. I'll meet you back later. All right. All right. Interesting. He makes a good point. Makes a great fucking point. Makes a great point. I just don't know how many people are really that politically savvy to know anything like that. Because if you ask most of these people why they um, like Trump, it has nothing to do with any of that. It's just the fact that no. But you know, he, his his point about like the people that came up doing illegal shit, you can't. If oh, America came, loves a bad guy. No, no, no. I'm saying if you came up doing illegal shit, right? Mm-hmm. You can't be surprised if they're not holding a guy like Trump to the same moral standards as someone who comes up doing legal shit. So if you came out selling drugs, you selling drugs in the hood, you selling drugs to black people, you destroying black families, you probably not going to be as upset as a person who might be talking. Your moral compass about, is different. Exactly. You just like, yo, how do I get on? Yeah. How do I get out of this situation? And you looking at that dude be like, damn, he got on. I agree with that. And also, too, this, America loves the bad guy. America loves the villain. We root for the bad guy. We love guy. the rebel. We love the rebel. We love the rebel. Even yeah. yo, know, even if, even if uh, you know, people that aren't rich, you know, they just love the rebelliousness of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because people who aren't in the best financial situation, that's that's all they have. Sometimes is just to act out. Mm. You know. And when you see, and when, this is what people really love when you see a motherfucker that is rich, mm. that is in a position of power acting like a goddamn fool. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what they really love. They really love that this motherfucker don't give a shit and he's in the position where he should actually give the fuck most. Mm. You know what I mean? America loves the rebel, man. And they, they, love, they, love, the they love a rebel that actually has something. That's why we love when people become like big time celebrities and they still act like regular and still 
you know, say suck my dick in an award show or Crazy. get on TV and say George Bush don't care about black people or, uh, you know, interrupt somebody at the, oh, when Old Dirty interrupted the, that group at the Grammys and say Wu-Tang, you know, uh, what do you say, Wu-Tang? For the Wu-Tang. children. It's for the children. For the kids. Yeah. The, America loves the rebel, man. I mean, I think you also got a point. Trump's always historically been popular in hip hop. I mean, if you go back to the 80s and the early 90s, he was in the clubs with Diddy. He was in the clubs mm-hmm. with Russell. It was like an aspirational figure. Why is that? I always wondered about that. Like, there was people out there that was richer than him. It's, why was it? Why was it always about he was, Trump? He was, he was tabloids. Was it the marketing? The yeah. fact that his name was on the building. Yeah, and, and everything was gold, this, yeah. gold, that. Like, he was very hip-hop, even though he was bougie about it. Yeah. And he was all about the tabloids. Like, he was... Uh, he had a rock star lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, they yeah, just yeah. kind of skated past the Central Park Five stuff and the housing discrimination stuff. It was the Flash. You know, people were attracted to the Flash. Chris, once again, I don't think people knew about that stuff like we think they He do. took out a full-page ad in the New York Post. <laughs> People don't read like even that. if they do, I mean, it's just we true. have the ability to look past. Like, listen, we got all these rappers that we look at every single day who literally talk about murdering people or killing people, and right. we look past it because we're like, oh my god, this song is so awesome, or they are so cavalier, or their lifestyle is so cool. So we have the ability to look past the uh, awful shit that people do if we like the flashy shit. They do. Yeah, because think about like even like let's let's go back. We're talking about act now, but think about 2016 when Trump first announced he was running. Think about all the people who went to Trump Towers and took w- was with him for photo ops and had meetings with him. Even with all of this stuff, Chris, all of the housing discrimination in the Central Park Five, either they didn't know or it wasn't a big issue to them. You know what I mean? Or they were saying to themselves, hey, man, he's the president now. Yeah. Let's try to build some bridges anyway. We, I don't, I don't know. Build you know? bridges or get some money? I think I think this is Both, maybe. I think people uh, can't build a bridge without no money. That's facts. True. I think people don't I think people don't like the fact that He's being attacked unfairly compared to other politicians. You know, like what Joe Biden and Hunter Biden have done is far more illegal and there's far more proof on record. What happened with the Steele dossier and the Clintons, they got a baby fine of $8,000 and that was self-funded campaign to connect Trump to Russia that was absolutely bogus and bullshit. The DNC got fined like a hundred grand. They're making a public spectacle about locking this guy up for something that's bullshit. That's not to say that he hasn't done other stuff, but the same thing wasn't attributed to his counterparts, which makes everybody look at it and go, oh, wow, this guy's getting treated unfairly. You know what? In life, sometimes I feel like I'm treated unfairly. I'm going to root for the guy who gets treated unfair. I, I, I agree with 80. But I agree with 80 percent of what you said. There's only two things I push back on. I push back on the word attacked and treated unfair. Hmm. He's not being attacked. He's being held accountable. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's what we want. We want everybody to be held accountable equally. If you're that's, committing a crime, that's a good point. regardless of, you know, what your position in life is, yeah. nobody should be above th- the law. I think people are comparing him not to themselves, but rather to other politicians that also are breaking the law and yes. are not being given justice. They want everybody to be held accountable. Yeah. And that's, that's why I say point. I can't say he's been treated unfairly because there is things that we can clearly look to and say he committed a crime. there. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm there's, there's no question. I'm not disputing that at all. I guess I guess what I'm saying is like there's we want everybody to be treated fair across the board. Yeah, that's it. And and I, 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 I feel like that with media coverage. I feel like that when it comes to the law. So, so so it's weirdly it's like if you have animosity for someone like Nancy Pelosi, right, who's clearly been using the information that she has about the decisions that will be made in Congress and how that will affect the markets. And then she's been using her husband as a proxy to invest that money to the tune of, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, right? Like, we know that she's doing this for a fact, Mm -hmm. right? And she's receiving no justice for this insider trading. She's not being held accountable. Uh, Yeah, either way. Yeah, 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 sure, agreed. Uh, So, and then you see Trump being held accountable for what he's doing. And now it's like, oh, this is unfair. You're just treating him this way because you don't want him to run. It seems political. I, I'm going to support this guy. Yeah. When if Nancy was held accountable and Hunter was held accountable and Joe was held accountable and and the Clintons were held accountable and everybody and else Kushner. was held accountable and the Bush administration and, and, Kushner. and Kushner and Kushner was and everybody was held accountable. Right? Kushner shit is crazy. I can't believe nobody's talking about that. We should shit. talk about it next. But like, if you saw that accountability going around for everybody, then it would be. You'd actually be upset if Trump wasn't being held accountable because you're like, well, why is he getting positive treatment? Yeah. But I think because there's so such a lack of justice and accountability with politicians and people of power, like you have these people who run these banks. 
that receive no punishment whatsoever when they're essentially stealing money from people, right? They receive no punishment yeah. or being completely frivolous with their uh, the people that invested in them. And it's like you see them receiving no punishment at all. You're talking about losing hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe billions of dollars, right? And then they get bailed out by the government. And then we're going after Trump for a $150,000 blowjob he tried to hide. Like, it seems incredibly unfair when well, you look at it in terms of that. And that's how people look at it. And then they start going, you know what? Fuck all those people. Trump right here, I'm going to root for him, not even because I like him, but I hate that those people get to get away from with shit. And by the way, Chris, I know you got something to say. Uh, I, I want people to know, when you listen to Andrew talk, or you listen to any of us have these conversations, he's not co-signing Trump. You're just laying it all out. You're being objective. I'm, I'm saying what people think. That's like, right. There's a group of people that don't necessarily like Trump, but they don't hate him, right? He, they're just neutral about Trump. But you know who they do hate? They hate Nancy Pelosi. They hate the heads of these fucking banks that get to skate free every single fucking time and the government comes and bails them out while they give themselves these massive fucking they hate bonuses. This un, they hate this unfair system and this unfair yeah, institution. Fuck them, dude. Yeah. You should yeah. bare minimum be fired or be put in prison for doing what the fuck that they did and they don't. And then you come in after this guy for a blowjob. And it's like, yeah, like I can see how if you have animosity for those other figures, what is it? The enemy of your enemy is your friend. Yeah. So it's just like, you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to ride with this guy because it's a fuck you to all them. I can make a case that if you pay $150,000 for vagina, you probably need to be in jail. And <laughs> sure. no, 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 that, that's just way too much, bro. I know it's inflation, but God damn. I don't think he paid that much. 50 grand for some vagina? I don't think he paid that much to fuck. He paid that much to shut her up. I, I'm not paying that much to shut you up. I'll, I'll let you. 150000 Chris, what do you think? Well, I mean, I think the one thing about it that I'm curious about, I'm curious what you guys think is what really stands out to me about it is it's a local DA bringing the charges, right? Like that's kind of what's unprecedented about it. This isn't a federal charge. It's not even a state charge. It's it's a local charge. So my question is... It makes it look like more bullshit, but... Yeah. Well, but this is my question. No local DA, even New York City, which you could argue is like the most powerful, you know, local DA in the country is going to bring a charge of this significance without some sort of cosign or green light from somebody. Right. Oh, absolutely. Like somebody had to be in this guy's ear saying, do this, don't do this, do he it. He ran next. on it, didn't he? He ran. Yeah, nobody he, in New York he, cared he, about no, that. Stuff. No, he, he, he ran on this. Bit. He did. He, he ran on this and, uh, you know, salute to AG to James, to James was pushing for it, uh, as well, pushing him to do it. And I think I saw something the other day where they were looking to see how much, I don't know. Somebody donated to his campaign. Yeah, they talked about Soros donating to his campaign. But what my theory is, he got a green light from the Dems high up, but also the Republicans. I think everybody was on board with this because I've been, you know, I I follow enough Republican voices and right wing voices to try to get a sense of the momentum. The momentum had been going to DeSantis, right? Like you could see these Twitter, you know, figureheads and people all kind of starting to try to move stuff to DeSantis. So I think, and I think this works to Trump's narrative, which is the systems against me. It's not even the Dems or the Republicans. It's the entire system. Is against me. I don't think you do this unless everybody's on board. No, I agree with you. What um, that means, I don't know, but it's, I, I, I think it's something to think DeSantis about. DeSantis is interesting because... <laughs> To show what Schultz said earlier about he got all this energy for Trump. Ain't no energy for DeSantis right now. None. None. Whatsoever. Donald Trump has sucked the air out of all the headlines. Done. Period. What and do you, he doesn't have the ability to make headlines. No. He just does DeSantis can't do anything but answer questions about Trump. Literally. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Which makes Trump even bigger. Bro, seeing the fight card in Florida. It was in Miami. Right. We're in DeSantis' state. Oh, wow. I forgot that. Trump is front row. DeSantis is not at the UFC fight. I don't think fight. DeSantis ever showed up to a UFC fight. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know if he has or has it, but Trump is there and he stands up and waves and 20,000 people lose their mind. <laughs> and then Jorge Masvidal, after he retires, he goes and give it up for the greatest president in history and then starts a let's go Brandon chant. The whole place is going, let's go Brandon. Damn. So I that's, think that, that's, that's technically Trump's backyard, though. True, but it's the right there. It's DeSantis' <laughs> state. <laughs> is it? I mean, literally, it is. He's the. I mean, he's the governor, yeah, but yeah, governor. you know. No, I guess what I'm saying is, if he can't even win his own state, there's no. He has no chance yeah, on the, right. in the election. Like, you're right. 
That Kushner shit is crazy, though. Kushner firm got hundreds of millions of dollars from two Persian Gulf nations. Nobody benefited more from uh, Donald Trump sucking the air out the headlines than Jared Kushner. Wait, this wait. The story wait. came out two weeks ago. Well, when did when did uh, they get it? What do you mean? When did they get the money? Post, post-election. post Yeah, it was after still. the election. Yeah. Uh, that, and that's that's not including the money he got from Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So that, all in, he's in for hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, but why, been, why did he get the money? For what? The infusion yeah, of money from interest. Funds, investment funds, but it's... It's yeah. pure access for money. I mean, that's but that's that was the Clinton Foundation, right? It says interest in the two Persian Gulf monarchies like reflects during, the ties of the Middle East countries established by Kushner. I think when, I think no. the Clinton Foundation is a version of it. It's just the difference is well. Now you could you no could the make, Clinton you Foundation comparison. Was worse. You could, you could Clinton, make she was literally the what was she the Secretary, Secretary of State. State? Yeah, you're right. So she was in con- control or heavily influenced in the foreign affairs of America, and the Clinton Foundation was receiving hundreds of millions of dollars of donations to influence the foreign affairs. And then the second she gets kicked out of all, not kicked out, but the second they lose to Trump, it downsized 95%. So the Clinton organization... Well, they, they, they at least had the decency to pretend it was going to charities. That's that cap. This is why people hate Democrats. He's right? No, he's y'all right. won't cough he's up right. your shit. He's right. No, this I is just why... Chris, no, 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 no. Chris, y'all y'all Chris, he's make... Right. People Chris, want, like, right. in my not, phones right not, now, right. Did no, I not, hold on, 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 this is why people like, this is why people like Trump. He's right, It's Chris. because he is made of mud, but at least he goes, I'm made of mud. Democrats go, I'm fucking Mr. Clean, look at me in my perfect white suit when they be doing the same shit. <laughs> you can look at the same thing and, and the, the media, everybody I was will, just, no, no, no. find I was, a way to make the Democrats shit I was shit just look conceding it's the same less dirty. I just conceded that. I know you did, but first you fought it. And not everybody fought it sarcastically. No, come on, Chris. Whatever, the decency it doesn't matter. to pretend, that's sarcastic. Okay, fine, fine. You did, but you know that Democrats do do this. Sure, because they sure, care sure, about the moral sure. upstanding that sure. they feel like they have to live up to. Sure. And it is liberating when you know that someone's full of shit and fucking lying to you, that someone else is just honest. Like, what you did right here, if you were being serious, you just made me vote for Trump. Sure. Now, and what I'm saying is like, someone who doesn't give a fuck and then sees Two things that are the same. You could argue one worse for the Clintons and then defends one and criticize the other. I'm like, fuck the system. The system needs to break. Hey, listen, I think you're right about Pelosi. Like what they've done is insane. It's fucking criminal. Yeah. It's insane. And, you know, and there are plenty of examples of that, you know, both on both sides of, you know. That's what I think that with the Democrats could be better. But I understand that they're supposed to be like the morality party and yeah, but you gotta be you gotta you gotta be honest but if they were honest it'd be so <laughs> much better saying? because it, 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 hey, uh, yeah it, yo even if the me even if just the news outlets were honest if just cnn msnbc yeah. fox news if everybody treated the party affiliation the same everything would be okay bro and do you realize how many more people would just vote democrat because and you saw it in the last election the republicans went hard on abortion and you actually saw republicans people who usually vote republican go Nah, bro, I kind of want abortion. I don't like the fact that you're banning that shit. And then this red wave never fucking happens, right? Mm -hmm. I think most people would, but they just, we as human beings despise hypocrisy. We fucking loathe it. And we hate people that put on this like moral grandstanding that we know are actual pieces of shit. So it makes people go, fuck the system. I'm going to go for the anti-establishment guy. When you can just because you're not being honest. That's so right. how do what's it going to take to get a Democratic Trump? Right. Which is bulwark. A, a Democrat. You need a like, real yeah, life fuck bulwark. That. I don't give you a have fuck, one, bro. Who? Bernie. And you and the Democrats destroyed him. Yeah, it's true. Not the Republicans. The Democrats destroyed. You had your motherfucking Bullworth, you had your Democratic Bernie, the guy who was like, the system is fucked. All these guys are crooked. Yeah. And what did we say? We go, I love this guy. That guy was going to take all my money. He was like, we're going to tax you crazy. I was making money for the first time in my life, and I was still like, at least he's honest. Well, Bernie should have learned how to lie a little bit. <laughs> but we like the fact learn that he's Learn how truthful. to lie, bro. Learn, no, I'm talking about as far as learn how to lie when it comes to people's everyday needs. Fair. Which is that goddamn cash. That's fair. You know what I mean? That's fair. You fuck us when you get in office. But it's not even us. It's, it's, it's the DNC that fought against him. DNC definitely fought against Bernie. So it's like, we know that they're the crooked people, as hell. I, I, I can say that there was a groundswell that oh, happened crazy. with Bernie 
The people chose Bernie to DNC. We just want an uh, we just want an honest politician. I know it's a crazy thing. It's an oxymoron to say, but like, and I'm not saying Trump is honest, but he appears more honest than Hillary. I'm not gonna lie. Demo- like, Democrats had me thinking Bernie couldn't win, and I like I I, I, I like Bernie. When I started to hear yeah, Bernie, you said he was yeah. old. You said he was old because Democrats told me that. Other exactly. Democrats, the other Democrats, because he wasn't were telling me Bernie's not the guy. They would say things like he's too old, he can't win because he wasn't establishment. You know, you got to ride with Hillary, yada, yada, yada. Like, they really, yeah. We hate the establishment because the establishment has failed us. If you're an American that's lived, obviously, in this country for the last 20 years, do you feel like the establishment has had your back? Do you feel like the establishment has supported you? Do you feel like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think you feel that way at all. You feel lied to constantly. They tell you one thing about the vaccines, and then six months later, they tell you a completely different thing. It's like, at every turn around the The vaccines are in them diet pins that y'all taking, them diet pins right now. (laughs) I don't know. I just, I empathize with the people who are like, I'm done with the establishment, and I feel like they feel the same way about Biden as they do DeSantis. They're like, if if DeSantis is becoming this establishment fucking guy, they don't want it. They want someone to buck the establishment, as they should, because the establishment hasn't been there for them. I'm totally done with the establishment, but the, I'm also, I can't embrace fascism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so, so you're stuck between a rock and a hard place because we're in a two fucking party system. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no other option. That's why I'm beyond, I cannot believe between 2016, 2014, and even now, you mean to tell me nobody can come up from like the Green Party or just somebody come up why would and you? raise their own money? Why and would like, you? Think about sh- it. Somebody, somebody could have easily Tell came me, through and shook the system up. Think about it. Think about it. If you're a Democrat that has money and has the ability to run and is it is 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 smart and has an, a good strategy, right? Mm-hmm. If you are not running with the Democratic establishment, they'll destroy they'll you. They'll destroy you. No, so right. you don't even. It's not even the Republicans you have right. to worry about. The Democratic st- establishment will sit you down and be like, "Are you going to do what we say?" And if you say no, they'll go, "We will destroy you." Just like we tried to destroy Bernie and ultimately we're effective in doing so. And we will do every fucking trick we possibly can to take you down. These are the moral upstanding Democrats that we're supposed to love because they love gay rights and they support yeah. black people and they support all this. But when Bernie was out there like, yo, I really want to support black people. Like, I'm really about it. Like, I really want to do it. Yeah. They shut that motherfucker down quick, fast. And you know what the Republicans have shown us? They don't give a fuck. Which is better if, if than Caesar, the liar. If Caesar from Planet of the Apes can win this seat, if Caesar from Planet of the the apes can win this White House. Guess who we about to fucking ride with? <laughs> like, they have literally shown us that with Donald Trump and Herschel Walker, they've shown us that they don't. They, don't they didn't give. They don't give a fuck as long as they win. Mm-hmm. Oh man! All right, guys, let's, let's play some bills. Ask an idiot. All right, guys, take a break for a second because hard dicks are upon us, okay? We just came <laughs> out of the winter. You know, it's carrot season, spring. You got to pick that harvest. And sometimes you need to be there to deliver backbreakers. You know what I mean? Girl comes from a hard day of work. You know what she needs? She needs the backbreaker. She needs to hop on top and be like, ooh, that went too far. How can she feel that way? How can she sit down on it and hop back immediately like the soup was a little bit too boiled? I'll tell you how. Blue Chew. Same active ingredients that's inside Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chew. This is the one that we rock with. And it's the one that you get in the first month for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping and use the promo code IDIOTS. That's it. BlueChew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS. Get the hardest dick of your life for free. And also, Charlemagne, what else we got? Man, Squarespace. Uh, salute to Squarespace. Longtime sponsor of the Brilliant Idiots podcast, man. Today's episode, as I just told you, is brought to you by Squarespace. Uh, I don't even know why I said that again. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website. Engage with your audience and sell anything. Your products, content you create, and even your time. I know so many people who come up to me all the time and say, man, they started a website uh, because of Squarespace, because they heard us talking about Squarespace on the Brilliant Idiot. So thank y'all. Our website, BrilliantIdiots.com is Squarespace, man. And you know, Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story. 
Grow your audience and drive sales, okay? Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business, okay? Learn where your site, business, and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords, our most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. Taylor, let's do some asking idiots. I'm not talking about Nick Cannon saying he would have a baby with Taylor Swift. Why Nick not? Cannon has enough babies with white women. Okay. Hey, he does? I don't know. I just be. I, I don't. I really don't know. The only baby mama I know from Nick is Mariah. I just say that because the internet says it. Like I don't know who baby Nick's baby mamas are. I have no idea. But Nick's just being a. People forget Nick is also a comedian. Hmm. So Nick goes on Howard Stern. He says something like this. It's funny. Like not only is Nick Cannon a comedian, Nick Cannon is a media personality. Nick Cannon does radio. Like Nick knows how to stir up waters to catch fish. Nick got. TV shows he's out here promoting. He's got Wild and Out. He's got the prank show on E! Now with Kevin Hart. I think it's called Celebrity Prank Wars. Like, Nick knows what he's doing. All right, play the clip. I mean, okay, play the clip. Since, hmm. since Taylor wants to play it so bad. Are you done? For real? Every or time you... I answer this question, it, I can never answer it correctly because I don't know. Because, and, wow. and like one time they asked me on Entertainment Time, I said, I leave it in God's hands. And then all these religious people got mad. Don't bring bringing Jesus into this. <laughs> yeah, never mind God. That's right. <laughs> Don't bring Jesus into I, your fornication. Uh, Stop it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make a prediction. I Let's make a I'm, prediction. I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy currently with, you know, my, my dozen. But what that if I got you, but, well, yeah, but the dozen, but what if you meet a woman? Let's say, right. let's say, um, I don't know who it would be. And you fall really she crazy. Be cold. Yeah. Right. I mean, she got to be amazing. You know why she's got to be amazing? First of all, she's got to put up with all these other. Howard Stern back in and she's got to put up with all the other kids. Who would be the woman that make you have a baby again? Right now, right off the top of your head, <laughs> I said to you, you could have any woman in the world. Doing right? this. Who's a, who could I it be? See the if I said to you, in. like, like if I said to you, Nick Taylor Swift uh, wants to have a baby with you. I mean, would, Absolutely, that do it? I'm in. That would Let's do it. go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. That's I'm all in. What is it about her? First of all, she's an amazing songwriter. Okay. Uh, and what I do love about Taylor Swift is the fact that she has been so vulnerable and open with all of her music since what a numbers? young girl. And and she kind of like me. Like me and Taylor's numbers is very similar right. when we're talking yeah. about <laughs> being in these streets. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nick is hilarious. They asked Nick why he want to have a baby with the girl, and he said she's an amazing songwriter. <laughs> like, like, he said, he's just trying to say something besides she's rich. Uh, or white. Yeah. I don't know. Salute to my neighbor, Nick. He's my guy. Yeah, Nick's my neighbor. I'm, I'm, well, Nick got way more houses than me, I'm sure. But one of his houses were neighbors. Uh, let's do some Asking Idiots, Taylor Gang. Let's do some asking idiots. Let's do it. Let's do some. I don't even understand this one, yo. I don't get in the day business. Caitlyn Jenner slams woke Nike for partnership with trans activists Dylan Mulvaney. Mulvaney, yeah. Dylan Mulvaney. Mulvaney yeah. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner slammed Nike for turning woke Thursday over its partnership with trans TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney, seven years after her own collaboration as a trans woman with a sportswear line, Jenna, who transitioned in 2015, called out the athletic wear company after Mulvaney unveiled the brand deal in a series of Instagram posts Wednesday when she modeled Nike pants in a sports bra. Alert the media, I'm entering my workout era. Mulvaney, a trans woman in the company's newest paid brand ambassador, wrote in the caption to her two million followers. Jenna, who was recently named a Fox News contributor, called the brand partnership an outrage as someone that grew up in awe of what Knight co-founder Phil Knight did. It is a shame to see such an iconic American company go so woke, she tweeted. Scroll down. Got it. I, we can be inclusive but not at the expense of the mass majority of people and have some decency while being inclusive. This is an outrage. I don't, I, I'm confused. Didn't I just read that Caitlyn had her own deal with Nike in 2015? Did I not just read that? So what's the difference? So I don't get in the day business. This is confusing. Yeah. And I, I, it's, it's, just, it's just all confusing. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, let's go to some Ask an Idiot's Taylor. Let's do some Ask an Idiot. For the 12th time. 
Okay, ready? Jesus Christ. Louis Rideau says, how do you think AI will change the world in the next year? Too soon to tell. What do you think, Schultz? I haven't dabbled with it enough. I need to just like take some time and just play with AI and really see what it can do. I'm I treat AI like old people treat Google. Like I don't know what to ask it. You know how like old people don't really know what Google's capable of. So I know what AI is capable of. What's that? Ruining the fucking world. We are screwed. This world can't even handle fake tweets. How the fuck they gonna handle artificial intelligence? Ooh. What happens when people start, you know, creating artificial intelligence that they're already doing? You already hear it with the music, right? Mm. When these guys are making songs that sound just like Drake, Jay Z, Kendrick. What happens when you start doing that with world leaders? What happens when you start doing that with Andrew Schultz? What happens when you start doing that with Charlemagne the God? They've been doing it to me. All this old content that you hear, that ain't even me. That's been AI for the longest. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers been trying to get me out the paint with AI for at least three, four years That's now. a great point. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't me. It was not me. So what happens uh... when people start creating this AI that is actually having real world consequences? America cannot handle this shit. And I, there was an article that came out in the New York Times a couple of weeks ago that, that kind of went under the radar too. This shit said, um, hold on, let me find this fucking headline because y'all need to go look this headline up and read this motherfucker. It said, uh, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck? Oh, Elon Musk and others call for pause on AI, citing profound risk to society. More than 1,000 tech leaders, researchers, and others signed an open letter urging a moratorium on the development of the most powerful AI intelligence systems, warning in an open letter that AI tools present profound risk to society and humanity. Duh. Who the fuck can't see this shit coming? It's innovation, though. Oh, it's like, shut up. It's always innovation. Like It is how people react to innovation. Yeah. Like, when we went from horses to cars, people were like, these fucking cars are going to ruin the world. It's different, man. These people, they, 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 right. this, stuff is, this stuff is imitating and mimicking human behavior. By the way, once again, we've already shown we can't even handle fake tweets. How are we going to be able to handle fake voiceovers? Fake, deep fakes. But a lot of stuff on the internet you're able to track. The moment one big person sues another person for putting out some bullshit, now everybody's going to be on their P's and Q's exactly. about yeah, the fake shit you put right. out. That is true. So yeah, the moment somebody makes right. a fake Drake song and then Drake sues that person, then everybody's going to be afraid to make there's fake room, Drake There's room for a million lawsuits now. I know, but I'm Literally, just saying that's from when... these blog sites that just put out fake news and everybody runs with it. Megan Thee Stallion says she about to sue every goddamn body that ran with all of that fake information that was put out there, but she hasn't done it yet because it you're costs right. way too much money to do and the people you're suing, you're not even going to no, get no bread for it. These people that are going to be able to make artificial intelligence from their houses, mm. why would you sue them? For what? Yeah. But they done ruined the world. They done put out some deep fake to say, hey, nuclear weapon going off in five, ten minutes. You know? Yeah. Mass suicides because people think the end of the world is coming because they've seen a deep fake from a world leader. People are stupid, Alex. I don't right. know why I haven't realized that yet. It will cause problems and it will be disruptive. And I think with every new technology, uh, there is great disruption and problems. And I think that's all part of it. I think everything that you're saying is true and will happen. And I also think that we will adjust to it and we will take it's, measures to make sure it's that it's going not to eliminate so millions of jobs off the rip. They're but already saying they're they already say, create more jobs. What jobs can be created? Working on AI. That's not I mean, listen. Sure, there's going to be people in the tech world who can create AI, but that's going to be a small amount of people. But also, what about everybody? What about people who work in McDonald's and Macy's and Nordstrom's? What about lawyers? What about when I can just hire an artificial intelligence lawyer, an artificial intelligent lawyer? What about when I can just hire an artificial intelligent financial advisor? I don't need you. I'm sure. Alex, your position? No, 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 no. Your <laughs> position is definitely going to be wiped no, out. No, it's not. I don't need you I'm to sit there like and do five that. five different things right now. And I can hire one AI to do 10 different things faster and better. All right. You'll see. All right. Listen, I agree with you. They, they, they tell jokes too. No, no, don't push back they, against that. Yeah, they tell oh, jokes. No, no, no. By yeah. the way, I know that. Yep. When it comes to writing TV shows and movies, yeah. you think that's not about to happen? Yep. Look, oh, writers, y'all about to go on strike, right? You think radio hosts, they gone too. You don't even need to see them. You just I, need to hear them. I, I, well, this is what I'll do. Right. I'll copyright my voice. Because <laughs> that's what yeah. they're doing. Yeah. James Earl Jones just did that. James Earl Jones just sold his voice to fucking Disney forever mm. in perpetuity. So they can use it over and over to be the voice of Darth Vader. Oh, wow. I'll do the same thing. Listen, Rush Limbaugh gonna be back soon. 
<laughs> Give it a fucking minute. Y'all, y'all think it's a game. Rush Limbaugh is going to be back soon. I think in certain ways that we should appreciate this. Yeah. Because, no, no, no let, me, let me get it out. I think it will be harder for AI to replicate what is unique and different. AI is going to aggregate everything that they've seen on the internet. And there's more normalcy on the internet than there is uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So I think that, yes, it puts people in a tough situation. Like, for example, with jokes, like if you're just doing kind of word problem jokes that have no like personality behind them, they have no emotion, no passion behind them. AI will be able to replicate those late night jokes, for example, like what the late night hosts do. AI will figure those out eventually. Right. But like, Doing an impassioned piece of stand-up work, I, I don't think the AI will be able to replicate because it hasn't gone through those emotional experiences. I hope so. I, How is AI going to replicate prior? Like, it just can't. Yeah, you got to have those life experiences. What if the AI knows your life experiences though? What if they, they might, but they they might, but they know it might not just know how to make the jokes about that. What I'm trying to say, it will be easier for them to just kind of connect the dots and make the late night style joke. Yeah. Which, oh, that's a clever twist because that's math, right? Yeah. But to have heart, I don't know if it has heart yet. And I think it will take more time for it to get heart. I'll tell you this, man. Uh, and that's not just stand up. That's for what you do as well. And I think I the agree. unique creators that are being like authentically themselves, I think will shine even more now that we can see AI kind of replace the people who were being inauthentic and just making word problems. I don't disagree with you. I just think that, you know, whenever you see the Elon Musk of the world and all of these tech leaders telling us, hey, we may need to take a step back. They know more than we do. Cause this shit is new information to us, but trust me, they've been working on this type of shit for the last 30 years. Sure. You know or what I'm saying? It could also be maybe he was late to the party. And he's and, like, yo, back up. Yeah. Elon Musk is never late to the party. I mean, he's doing a lot of different things. I don't know, man. I just think that, you know, artificial intelligence, uh, to, to show this point, I think what I think what you're saying, Schultz, is it can't replace human consciousness. No, I, I don't think necessarily that it can't replicate it. I don't know replace, but it probably can replicate it. But consciousness, though, yeah. not it, no, soulfulness. No, no. Soulfulness, the soulfulness. soul. I don't think it can replicate the soul. I don't think that it can. I don't think it can do James Brown. You know what I mean? I, I just don't think that there are certain things that are like innately human. I think it can replicate a late night style joke. I think it can replicate a morning DJ that goes, "What's up?" and "Welcome to the fucking elephant." You know, ninety six point seven, the dinosaur, and mm. here we are, and give it up for this next day. It can do that, but I don't know if it can do Donkey today. You know what I mean? So I think that there's there's specific things that are going to be more unique. And the good thing about that is that if you're someone who has dedicated your life and career and art and being authentic, it's going to be harder for you to replace. And then you'll be more sought after because we'll see that the other stuff is very easy to replace. I hope so. I mean, I, I honestly, man, I know that y'all love advancements in technology, but I would like to see us get back to the basics in a lot of ways. Because I feel like a lot of the basics are being lost. I feel like just you know, regular humanity, regular morals, regular values, just people, you know, leading with their soul. And, and, and We just and, getting old, bro. Yeah. That's what all old people say. We old. We want it to be like it used to be. Like, yeah. No. I, I think I the best case scenario is music, because if you look at music, AI has been in music for like 30 years. Yeah. Right? How? But well, well, the drum machine. Right. Like the drum machine. Yeah. That's every, different though. Every song is the same three chords. Right. Right. Like, but, but that's been like that forever. No. But what I'm saying is if you if you go to restaurants, stores now, they they still play stuff from the 70s, right? Because that was the last era where there was a lot more of the human emotion and soulfulness in music. Bro, let me it didn't mean something. music stopped. Let it me keeps tell you going. Something. Yeah. We went out for Alex's birthday the other night, right? And we're at this club. What was the name of the spot we were at? Louis, Louis, Lucy's. Lucy's. Lucy's, right? And I was clowning our young bucks, right? Because they weren't playing any of their hits. All these TikTok songs, they don't get you dancing in a club. That 15 seconds is good. That's the soul. But they don't have it. And it's like they were playing all shit from our generation, right? And it's not like this is an old head club. We were the old heads at the club. That's right. But if you really want to get the people moving, you got to play the songs that come from an era where people were moving. Right. Right? And it was crazy. They would throw up the TikTok song and like everybody would recognize it. But no one was really grinding to Bro, it, bouncing their head to it. Man, nothing. it shows, that's why I tell 15 seconds and then that's they moved it. On to but that's why I tell y'all fucking idiots all the time out there listening, man, you don't put stock in money in youth. Those are the two most fleeting things ever. You know, if you put stock in youth, you're switching your own style up every four years. Who, oh, so who the fuck are you? I agree with you. <laughs> you know though I, mean? I will say the youth is undefeated in that. Like, I think it's important to have young minds and like young 
ideas around you because sure. they're more in touch with like what's going on. But what's going on now, but, yes. they, don't, but they don't know how to stand the test of time yet because yes. they haven't done it. Correct, correct. You still need people that know how to stand the test of time. So, like, like Quincy Jones can take you in the studio and show you how to make a classic. Yes, yes. But I'm, I'm, I bet also Quincy's like, yo, who, what are the kids listening to right now? And he's talking to two Absolutely. younger people and being like, who are the artists? Why are they Absolutely. profound? And then he could probably look at those artists and be like, Ooh, they're gonna be somebody. They're doing something Absolutely. interesting. Oh, wow! They're just replicating what's going on. And there's all, there's all, there's always inspiration. But it yeah. literally, if your, if your shit is, I'm young such and such. Uh, my company is young such and such. But what happens when you turn 21? Yeah, you don't want to. What happens when you turn 25? <laughs> it's a, no, you're right. It's a dumb 30? thing. It's a dumb thing. Like being so proud of how young you are. It's like, it's insane. my man. If you're lucky, you get old. If you're blessed and lucky, you know what I'm saying? Like the last thing that you want to do is pride yourself and market yourself around your youth, man, because your career is shorter. Market around your art, man. Yeah, man. Let's do, let's do one more tale. If we find a good one. Oh, why? uh, Let me see. um, (laughs) This is a brilliant idiot question. Okay. And I want to fuck with it. MF.D30N says, what's more confusing, religion or this whole non-gender identity? (laughs) Why? About the same. Yeah, about the same. Wow. I think non-gender identity is probably more confusing to people because... At least we can look at religion and be like, this was explaining things that were unexplainable at the time. Yeah. Okay. Whereas the non-gender identity isn't explaining anything to you if you identify as one gender. It probably makes all the sense in the world to the people who don't identify as a gender. Yeah. But to you personally that does, you're like, I don't understand how you feel. I wonder if MF.D30N is an atheist. The reason I ask that is because if you're an atheist, then religion, God could be very, very, very confusing, right? Mm. Like this whole, like, because cause, cause think about it, right? When you believe in God, you don't even think about science, really. Meaning, like, if you believe mm. in God, that's your uh, logic for how all of this came to be. Mm. But if you talk to somebody like Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's going to break it down from a scientific perspective and say, oh, no, this happened here and that happened here and it was a big bang there and all of these different things mm. and, you know, monkeys evolved. He'll tell you all of these different reasons. But if you just believe in God, it's like, nah, God is the reason why we're here. But if you're an atheist who doesn't necessarily believe in God, that's where religion of God gets very confusing. Because to me, religion isn't confusing. Non-gender identity, very confusing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's also because I grew up on religion. So I, I believe what I believe. And by the way, I don't necessarily have a religion. Like I'm not, I grew up Jehovah Witness. My dad was a witness until he got this fellowship. Then he got into Islam. My grandmother was a Baptist, so I don't I've never really claimed one particular religion, but mm. I understand religion and faith in God way more than I do non-gender identity. Mm. The reason why I say uh they're equally confusing, because imagine if religion just popped up now. Imagine somebody trying to explain that shit to you right now. Well, look look mm. at the point. way that people treat Scientology. It's a good point. That's a religion that kind of popped up now. Yeah. And people look at those people like, yo, Watch. they're crazy. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah. hell is that happening over there? Like, you believe you, you, we're aliens? You or? ever read about what Mormons believe? Yeah, even that. Like, so, yeah, the more recent the... Fire commercials they used to have. Yeah. But the more recent the, more, the religion, the more weird we think you are. And I think the same thing is applied probably to gender identity. It's just recent. Yeah. You know? Like I think in like 200 years... If it stays around, yeah, like people, everybody would understand it and everybody would be on board and all that. What the hell, Taylor? What was you even watching? What is that? Playing video games. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Mormon commercials was fire. You don't remember those shit back in the day? Mormon, the Church of Jesus. What is it? The Church of Christ and Latter-day Saints? Yeah. I've never seen a Mormon. That shit was hard. It's like an album cover. I mean, an album title. So, yeah, I think it's, uh, it really kind of depends on on your situation. Yeah. And, uh... For me, it's the non-gender identity thing. But I, I, I have, I'm not trying to understand it. The only thing I understand is that, you know, those individuals have the right to have the same rights that we have. You know what I mean? They I are mean, human beings. They, right. don't sh- they shouldn't be killed for who they are. There's 7 billion people on the planet. That's right. Like, there are going to be some things that are a little That's wonky. Right. Right. Like yeah. some people are born without an arm. Some people are born without eyes. Some yeah. people are born like not everybody. Some people got a little be- dicky dick. They got a little dicky dick, some yeah. people, right? So it's like, yeah, there's going to be some people that are probably born in the wrong body. There you go. 
So I'm, that's not like the I most, think they're born in the wrong body, and I'm not going to sit here and insult them. Exactly. So I'm not, well, I'll still insult them if they do something <laughs> annoying. No, if they do something annoying, but not because yeah. of who they are. Well, if I'm like, really close friends with them, then I'll definitely insult them for yeah. that. Taylor, pull this up. Yeah. Pull up the, we, we can end on this because yeah. this is a good segue. Into yeah. this. Pull up the Republican. Pull up the Republican. That's right. Pull up the Republican who has clearly never watched any Marvel. While she's pulling that up, didn't you say you wanted to talk about uh, Dave, the show? Oh, my God. How did I forget to talk sure. about Dave? Dave is the funniest comedy that has come on TV in the last three to four years. Yo. It's great. Little Dicky's show watch. is fucking so, hilarious. I, now, everybody watch. tells me it's I, I, I watched the first season. I'm, I'm actually in the last episode of the first season. I watched the first season. Um, I binge watched the second season because I knew the third season was coming out. So I wanted to catch up. Mm-hmm. Man, that shit is by far. Far the funniest comedy that's been on TV in like three, four years. Mm. Yeah, he's talented, Dave is man. hilarious. He's really talented. And he got my, that's my sense of humor. I like gay humor. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like shit that makes people uncomfortable. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. shit is funny. Is fun. Did you see the episode where the, the woman is like, um, she's like, coffee for Jew? Coffee for Jew? <laughs> and then Dave goes to get the coffee, but then the Asian guy walks in front of him and takes it. That shit is so fucking funny. Funny, man. That show is hilarious. Uh, salute to Lil Dicky, man. Yeah, shout out to them, man. Never cared about your music, but boy, that nah, goddamn he, TV yeah, Lil show. Lil Dicky's talented as fucking rapping, too, man. Really? Bro. Incredibly talented. I never took like, him serious because it always seemed like he was being funny. Like, but this, he is being funny, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah, he's yeah, so, yeah. he is talented enough to yeah. be funny while also rapping really well. His The, the TV show makes me like his raps. Because you understand the character behind him. I understand him. the yeah. character behind him. So even when he raps on the show, I'm like, damn, that shit was kind of fire. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit is dope. And I just love the way him and Gator say they got sucked. Yeah. Got sucked. Yeah. I <laughs> love that <laughs> shit, yo. I love that <laughs> shit. Uh, Taylor, play this um clip. This is hilarious. I'm, I'm looking at society today, and it's like I'm watching an X-Men movie uh, with people that when you watch the X-Men movies or Marvel comics, it's like we have mutants living among us on planet Earth. And, you know, some people don't like that, but that's a fact. We have people that live among us today on planet Earth that are happy to display themselves as if they were mutants from another planet. This is the planet Earth, where God (laughs) created men, male, and women, female. I'm a proud Christian conservative Republican. I'm not on the fence. Not on the fence. There is so much darkness in our world today. So much evil in our world today. And so many people who are afraid to address the evil, the dysphoria, the dysfunction. I'm not afraid to address the dysphoria or the dysfunction. The Lord rebuke you, Satan, and all of your demons and all of your imps who come and parade before us. That's right. I called you demons and imps who come and (laughs) parade before us and pretend that you are part of this Bruh. world. Bruh. So I, I'm, I'm saying Bruh. my righteous indignation is stirred. I am sick and tired of this. We, I'm not going to put up with it. You can test me and try to take me on, but I promise you I'll win every time. Let's all What's vote up on this bill. Thank you. They, they, they're voting on a bill that would criminalize. Just scroll back now, Taylor. They're voting on a bill that would criminalize, um, scrolling down again, please. They voted on a bill that would criminalize trans people using bathrooms at Webster Barnaby in Florida. Now, let's be, let's be honest. Technically, trans women would be considered X-Men. Right? X-Men. Technically. X-Men. Just, just technically. Yeah. But what Webster doesn't understand here is that the mutants are the good guys. <laughs> like, he's clearly never watched Marvel. Well, there there is the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, but for the most part, the mutants are, are the good guys. What, what, I, what, I, what I really don't like about this man is that's a black man, mm. right? You can't be a black man in this country and demonize somebody just because of who they are, bro. Yep. 
Like, come on, man. Like, yeah, like you you understand marginalization. You should as a black man in this country. Charlamagne. You understand being a minority. That isn't a black man. That's not a black man? That is a religious man that happens to be black. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Mm. No, that's a man trying to hide something. Yo, these Democrats ruined I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> You can't even you can't even dis you can't even disagree with trans rights without Democrats being like why because you want to suck dicks. <laughs> That's every Democrat. If if you disagree with a Democrat about atheists, why? Because you're secretly gay inside and you just want dicks in your mouth. Ah! This is why Trump gonna win, yo. yo. Y'all come with the same uh, argument every single time. That's all they do, bro. That's all they do. You can't even disagree. I'm wrong. Chris, yeah, I, I don't know if you're right, but I know Andrew's argument sounds more logical. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Right? It's like it's like the parents go like this. The parents are like, I don't know if we should have like the drag queens like teaching our kids yeah. like English, and yeah. then Democrats. Why are you worried? You will fucking suck because, a drag queen's dick out of nowhere. Because Chris, technically, what you did, you can't you know shame him for going against trans people, but then shame him for being gay. He just That's what you did. You tried to He's shame religious. him for being gay just now, Chris. I apologize, Mister uh, Barnaby. I'm just saying, <laughs> thou protest too much. Can you imagine being that outraged about something? He's religious. Yes, he's religious. Yes, I can. For somebody he's that's religious. He's super religious. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes. I, I've seen Christians act like that for stuff that don't got nothing to do with gayness. If it's in sex before marriage, man, shack up with a woman back in the day in the 80s and 90s and have a grandma that's a Baptist. And see what I see how she come at you and tell you you're going to hell just because you and your 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 significant other just trying to keep the rent down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all just sharing rent, but you going to hell because y'all not married. Shit, have kids out before wedlock and see what happens with a religious person. I mean, she might have been a little loose now, but yeah, that's more religion I think than anything else. Amen. That's what. Hallelujah. I mean. Um, as always. If you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>